Tan 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 tan, 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 tan 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 tan. And action in the words of our great president Taka Inde Hichilema. Kalebwangu. Kalebwangu. Let's you, start you, this one. You, 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 you. Um, we are at Urban Maasai. And that is where uh, we are. F- it's, it's a relatively new place for anybody who's not just new in Lusaka and, or doesn't move around much in Lusaka. It's, uh, I think, a dead center in between arcades and Manda Hill, right opposite the showgrounds. Pretty decent eating place. The music is decent. The food is decent. The ambience, the is ambience, the people, cool people. Can you not use that word in relation to urban Maasai. Put some respect on these African it's names. It's about bro. emphasis. Uh, all right. Yeah. It's about expression. <laughs> yeah, her. So this place used to be La Petite Paris. Pronounced correctly, Le Petit Paris. Before um, it became urban Maasai. You can bring the, the the drinks, sir. Before our good friends got their amazing hands on it. And uh, we will so not mention better. their names. Yeah, made it a bit of an upgrade. So yeah. here we are today, and uh, we have a guest all the way from Malawi. The man literally. What do you say all the way? Like as far? Hey, bro, could I have another? Like, red, could I have a bread? Is Lilongwe well? like a two two minute drive from here? You say what? Is Lilongwe or Blantyre two minute drive from here? The roads though are fucked up, so I think it will take like nine hours <laughs> to get to Lilongwe. Yeah, not because it's far, but just the roads are. Are, are those roads? Can we call those roads? On which side? <laughs> o, on your side. Hey, bro. Hey, my guy. Are, are you bringing uh, the Red Bull? No, for me. That's yeah. For uh, I, well. Yes, please. Uh, some cubes as well. Yeah. I, I, feel like, I feel like we're being very generous. Dude, do you want to put your laptop down? I feel like it's too in the way. You can't see him? No, I mean for the cameras, bro. Worry not, bro. You Why don't not? watch other podcasts? Do you see clatter? Worry not. Don't embarrass us. <laughs> Worry not. So anyway, we're saying uh, our brother here is from Malawi. And uh, he's been training quite a bit. You have been trending, my G. Training quite a bit. But we'll get back to, we'll get back to that issue a little later. Well, you actually, actually first, yeah. r- uh, introduce his name. I was doing that before you rudely interrupted me. So anyway, our guest <laughs> today, hailing from, uh, which part of Malawi? Is it a longer blind time? So I'm from Doha. From, from where now? Doha. 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 Like in Qatar, Doha or no Doha? You said Doha. Doha, D-O-W-A, Doha. Right, never heard of that one. Wait, wait which part of Malawi is this? So Lilongwe is the cent- central part. That's right. the capital city. We're sixty kilometers north. Okay, that's where. Uh, is that the, is that where the fancy part of Lake Malawi is? Like where the nice lodges are? No, that's where my home village is. Because when you ask me where I'm from, I, yeah, no, I'm but assuming you're, sh- you're asking me my origins. Yeah, so that's yeah, what we're asking. We can start yeah. from there. So yeah. I originate from Doha. Okay. In Malawi. Okay. So what are people from there known for? Gule Wankuru. What are they known for? Gule Wankuru. What is that? What's that? The big dance. What's the big, big dance? dance? Uh, what is that? So I'm called the Nyao King. Yes. So Gule, the, you know, the masquerade dancers, you have them here as well. Yeah, we know, we know yeah. what you're Mostly talking about. Mostly in East, the eastern parts, I mean. Right, yeah, right. Chipata, there's so the Nyawas and... That's where, the, you know, a majority of our tribe people come from. Mm. So Gule Wankuru is uh, something that is world-renowned, you know, a, a culture that is uh, marveled and... So that's what we're known for. Predominant. Interesting. Mm. And is Tate Grin your real name or is it just like a stage name that you came... Oh, no, man, that's a stage name. Not just... You never, kind of know. That? you never know. You <laughs> never know. You never know. We're trying to find things out here, Elson. So, and Be also, patient. like, people well, ask me, they ask me, like, so what does it mean? Mm. And usually, I just give the story of, like, the origins of where it started from. Because okay. Take Green for me res- uh, is where my music career started from, mm. um, which was about 20 years ago. You started 20? your music career 20 years ago? 20 years ago. Dude, you look like you're 25. <laughs> Thank I was going to say the same thing. Thanks, yeah. bro. 20. <laughs> I'll take that. Wow. Dude. Cheers, man. I like that. Anyway, you're telling us the story of I like name. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. Uh, so, bruh. Well, oh, this guy's name is uh, Elson, otherwise known as... Uh, Uncle Elson. Uncle Elson. Yeah. I'm known I'm as the K+. Uncle of the nation. There I'm, must be a reason for that. Yeah, he'll explain later. I'm known as K+, no, by I the think way. I'm having... It's K+, okay, plus, moment baby. You say uncle. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of getting the... It sounds like a pimp, eh? No. Mm. No, of course not. When he said, then he said uncle of the nation. 
Right. Yeah. Feels like the the guy who safeguards things around here. It feels like the guy that does what? That safeguards things around That's me. here. You you describing me exactly what I am. Yeah. I, Safe, I like this. What I like do you safeguard? I, I think he like cross Bruh. checks and examines. I think he's going to be like the he's a naughty one, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I want to be, I want to be, be, this be out. very patient. <laughs> be very patient with your statements you, about you this heard guy. Me. <laughs> cut this part out, please send it to me. <laughs> you, you're like very famous in Malawi, right? Yeah, he is. I'm gonna put that like so let me, let me let me just you put it on your CV. Let me explain that. So in Malawi, the top five brands that are known uh-huh. out of Malawi, uh-huh. brands, I'm, brands, right? I'm the only human. What are the other four? Malawi Gold. Malawi Is that tea? the weed? Yeah. Manik. Zuzu Coffee. Right. Okay. Jumbo the fish. Uh huh. Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi. And Tigre. <laughs> uh, okay. Namadingo. I just told you the five. You can then add the rest. <laughs> yeah. so, he's, so he's probably number six. So, bro, listen. Right out the gate. Right out, out the, the gate. gate yeah. I need to. I need to. I need to get an answer to this. D juice mash Motale. We'll get back to that. Ah uh-uh, ah, Kalenga, uh-uh. don't do Dude, that. You know I want to know. Can we? Can we get to know the gentleman first? Wait, <laughs> we will get to know him after he answers this question. Go ahead. I told you about this guy. Yeah, go ahead. The naughty guy. But since we're just getting to know each other, yeah. I think, I mean, we can get into, I think, cleaner versions of the same question. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like uh, you're speaking of a lady mm-hmm. who I respect. Right. And love. And love. Okay. So do you know her hold in the on, biblical sense? Hold on. And love. No, I mean, <coughs> if you're asking me, I mean, <coughs> me and Matale Sorry, go way cough. back. I've told you I've been in the music industry for over mm. 20 years. Yeah. Right. So we've known of each other. For a years. minute. For, for a while. Right. Um, she even actually sent a team to Malawi to interview me when she was at Kumwesu. Right. That was like 10, 12 years ago. Right. Yeah, I remember that much. Yeah. You see? That's so, interesting though. Yeah. So, and then, but we only uh, reconnected at uh, the Lusaka July. Right. Recently. Mm-hmm. When I came uh, uh, and won a best male oh. uncle. Oh. <laughs> Dressed. Right. Yeah. 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 So we reconnected. She hosted me absolutely well. And I'm a gentleman, you know, if, if, if you host me and we're having a good time, we're connecting. And there's a lot of stuff that we, we're developing as well, uh-huh. you know. So I extended an invitation to Malawi. All right. You know. So, you, I mean, there's a lot of other things you can ask in between. You just go straight to smash. You just, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, let's build up to that. Come on, guy. Can we build up to that? Guy. Because you know what it is? No. Can we build Come up to on, that? Guy. Because, you know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, the thing with me is this. Uh-huh. I'm that person that... Doesn't know how to behave. <laughs> well, apart from that, <laughs> mm. I'm that person that if I have something that I really want to know, yeah, you just go I'm and not, ask. no, not that, but I'm not gonna pay attention. I'm like that child, you know, like when you've got like but new so shoes. <laughs> Hold on, Kalinga, let what, me finish my what point. Tim was telling you about why should we conform to what you want and how you are? Can we build this up to that point? Wait, who, who's we? The podcast, <laughs> which I'm part of. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. So he's telling you right now. Let me, just let me, answer that let question. Me, so me, can we do that? I don't want to answer that question. He did answer the question, but let in me, a different let me, way. My, let me enjoy my drink. <laughs> anyway, so the point that I was making is, uh-huh. I don't pay attention to it because everything else that you're saying is kind of like white noise. You know what I mean? I'm like, I want to get to it. But and there's it, a lot about you that I want to get to know. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so can we I feel that like question this is going to be. Can I finish talking to this gentleman? What are you drinking? Is that <laughs> horse what, urine? What, what, what were you smoking? Uh, is that horse urine? What were you smoking outside? Okay. There was so much Jesus smoke Christ, I'm having a conversation with this man. Tegrin, yeah, welcome to that podcast. It's not usually this confused. Man, cheers. But this man has been smoking too much shisha outside. It's getting to his brain right now. He's in a very... And we will we'll get to the right, right out of the gate question right, later. Right, right before we start. Yeah. Okay. Don't interrupt me. I will finish my point. Okay. Then, then you get in. Okay. <sighs> Right? Your point being? Just like when you say a question, I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> your point being? Don't interrupt me. Finish your point. That's my point. Uh, we can order the food now, yeah? I, I ordered goat. And that's one thing I think... Take green. Are... Let me tell you. This nigga here bought a Benz. Okay. And ever since then, his nuts have just gotten so much bigger. What kind of Benz did you get? 
we're not talking about my possessions here. No, why not? No, I mean, are you proud? I am very proud of it. You yeah. worked hard to get it. Yeah, I worked hard to get so it. So be proud. Guys. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to talk about it. I don't no, talk about, about my I'm possessions. Just, saying, just be proud. I don't it's talk about my possessions. It's like, yeah. Do you know? I, I feel like that's one of the things as Africans <laughs> we, yeah. we 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 um. There's a stereotype we we do. There's mm. a thing we do, right? If if you become successful as a black person, yeah. yeah. Either it's witchcraft or it's this or it's this or it's this. No, the guy just worked hard. Yeah, true. So I, mean, I, mean, I worked hard. It. I worked so, hard for it. So for me, I feel like you can you, we can diminish that kind of thinking if we are proud of our achievements. Yes, sometimes it's looked at upon as arrogance, but it's not. It's just I'm proud. I think I'm one of those people who you suffer I mean? from serious imposter syndrome. Okay. Yeah, like I'll achieve something and I want to talk about it because I feel like I don't like I'm showing off but and things like that. Are, like, well, so I, I need to. Can, so to, can the, I just say something real quickly? Yeah, go ahead. But you are in front of so many people, millions of people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they look up to you. You understand? Yeah. So now, when you achieve something, even your your achievement, mm. okay, will impact one or two, three people out there if you mention them. Just share. You just share it. Yeah, like when you got the the Nissan, the big right. big ass. What what Nissan is that? You saw it? It's a V eight. Um, is that a Nissan patrol? patrol? Yeah, the new, yeah, the new one. The new one. Yeah, twenty twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. dope, man. Sh- were you given that by the government I was or something? Gifted, no. By, you were uh, gifted. I was gifted that. Who gave you that car? Doctor Trifoni and Pinganjira. Well, why did you give you that car? So, um, basically, one in appreciation of what I've done for the entertainment industry, my country. Right. Yeah. I've you know I've done s- enormous stuff. To develop our industry back, right? But also just staying true to the culture, because my music 100% promotes my culture, who I am, where we're from. Yeah. Because I believe that that's your identity. That's big your, ups that's, to you, bro. That's big your, ups. you know, your fingerprint in the world. Yeah. Your identity. No one can copy you if you are true to who you are. For it's a, a big man. part of what we've been saying as well about the podcast, right? Yeah. So, in appreciation of all of that, but also. Uh, I'm an advocate and someone who believes strongly that because I'm a king where I come from. The Nyao king. Yeah. Right. And I believe in equality. So at the particular time they gave I me, don't. I was in a, oh, hold on, we'll get to your point. I was in a, I was featured in a movie that was just basically highlighting, you know, the thing, the savage things that are going on in Africa, especially also in Malawi, abductions of albinism, uh, people of Al- Albino. Al- albinism. Albinos. You know, yeah. Uh and that's something that I do not you know. <sighs> so uh, all this all this in appreciation. They gave me this particular vehicle. Do you actually really believe in equality that everybody should be equal? I feel like everyone is an individual and should be able should be allowed to express themselves. That yes, but I'm talking about equality. Now, equality it depends. It's broad again. In what specific? Yeah, that's a bit area. of a broad statement, bro. It, that's why. That's why. Because when he said mm. equality, it's what I wanted to right. him so to maybe define. If you well, can specify he, what exactly? He because I feel the like the reason why you rights and quality and what and what 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 are we talking about? Fuck the music here is a little too loud here. No worry, we'll chop it out. I think his no, no, point because I can't hear him properly. I think the point he was trying to raise about equality was when he he brought up the issue of uh, people living with albinism. Yes. They are seen a different way when right. he would love them to be treated equally no, as well course, like any absolutely. other normal human no, being. Course, so that's yeah. his point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I, I get that's it. That's what I'm saying. It. Your statement is a bit broad. Like, what do you mean equality? equality. Yeah, no, I get when it. you said yeah. equality, then you said, um, I, I, you don't believe in that. So I said, oh, hold on. Well, yeah, yeah, when it let comes me, to that. Maybe, let me understand. For, okay, let me understand what do you mean. Yeah, so essentially, what I was trying to refer to is the reason why we we work and we we achieve what we do and him buying a Benz is because he, he doesn't want to be the same as everybody else. There's a reason why you would buy a $2,000 pair of shoes. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a reason why you would say, I want to f- fly first class. It is, a, it is a big part of why you do not want to f- always fit in. And that's why I said, I don't always feel that everybody wants to be equal. Mm. Do you yeah, get the point that I'm trying to make? You say out, what? Yeah. Okay. Like you sort of want to stand out. You want to be different. Right. And viewed as different. And viewed as different. Rather than just being um, clustered into one. But ultimately, that's just the self-realization of you. Yeah, of course, absolutely. You know, like I, um, someone asked me once, who's your competition like back home or which artist you level mm. yourself? And I said, I'm not in competition with anybody. Why do I say this? Because I'm my own competition. The last song that I did, my last hit, where did that go? I want to surpass that. 
the ultimate goal is, you know, realization of your, who you are. Right. Right. So what you're basically saying is that that equality, yes, you want to fit, you want to do this. When you start realizing who you are, you realize the standards that are, you are accustomed to. I was watching. The value you give yourself. You know, I was I watching a very interesting, I can't remember which podcast, but I think it was, um, which artist was it? Well, there was a number of big artists that mm-hmm. we're talking about. There's a point you just raised right now, which brought this back to my memory. Okay. They were talking about how artists nowadays are so worried about the numbers and right. beating their past hits. They're forgetting to do their music for themselves. Okay. And I think it was Jay-Z or something. Oh, it was DJ Khaled, actually. Okay. He was saying the new cats are producing music so much for the numbers and the money. Mm-hmm. They're forgetting to be selfish. Artists back in the day were selfish. They wanted to produce songs that made them feel good. Right. Now, you just mentioned that you produce a song. You had a hit song. I don't know if it's this year or last year. And you're trying to come up with a song that's bigger than that. What's your major worry when it comes to producing music? Is it beating your previous song? Is it about you producing something you love? What's your, where's your, where's your mental state when you're making music? When I'm making music, it's evolution. Okay. I've your done evolution. T- my evolution. So when I say I, I want to beat what I've done before, mm. I'm talking of creativity wise. Not necessarily whether that was the number, necessary numbers as you're putting it. No. Right. I want to give a different dimension. So when people look at my work, they say, Woo, okay. This boy is still expanding. Mm. This guy's giving us, oh, we didn't expect that. I'll give you an example. I did a collab recently with your map, So Money. Right. In my country, when the song played, they played the song a couple of times and they're like, but where, where is the guy singing? Like, where is, because they used to, they were expecting me to rap. There's a certain way I deliver things. Mm. Right? But on this record, I decided, no, let me go in this, di- in this direction. Again, challenging myself to do something that I don't normally do. So normally you're a rapper. Hip hop? It- no, I just make music. Well, you don't have a genre of the I, music you make? I just make music. I, I entered the game with rap. Those were my first records. We did that stuff with Slab D back in the days on my first album mm. uh, with uh, PJ, God rest. You know? I remember the first time I heard your music was on, uh, and your song was number one on that African compilation. Yes. Remember that CD? Yes. I used to, I used to do an African uh, show on Radio Back. That's like 2009, 10 when that song came yes. on that CD. Yeah. I've done quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I think I'm one of the only African artists that ever performed on Big Brother Africa when they were doing the live eviction show. I was shows actually heading there, yeah. Twice. Because the, the rap music that I was doing is a song called Two by Two. And we, so we got on the stage with all these Gule Wan Kulu, the, the, all the drums. There's a lot of drums, the traditional drums. I use that in my music. Right. Uh, and the fusion of the dancing, the masquerade dances. This is different. And when you look at it, it's, it's this theater. It just, it takes you literally back to, it takes you to where I come from. Mm. You see? So every time, again, back to your question, when I'm presenting new music, I don't want you to, I don't want to take you back to the same spot I showed you a couple of years ago. Right. You're going to get bored. <coughs> right. Yeah. I'm going to give you a different dimension of my art, but also sticking to my culture. I agree with that. I was listening to Jay-Z. I think he says this in one of his raps. Where he was like, niggas say they miss the old Jay Z. Buy the old CDs. This is buy the old CDs. Sure. You have to evolve. Because when you listen to like 444, which I think is his third best album, in my opinion, what he's talking about, and if you listen to Blueprint, two different things. Because he's in, because different. where he was then and where he is now, it's totally different. It's wisdom now. Right. And that's why even in that same album, he says, I'm actually giving you. A uh, million dollars worth of game for nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine, right? The so, story of OJ. So you see, as, as you grow as an artist, <laughs> you realize also again that we are custodians of culture, custodians of who we are as a people. Right? Mm. Nations are built on culture. A civilization without culture, what are you? Where are you right now in your career? Where, where, where do you feel you are? I'm just starting, my G. Twenty years later, uh, <laughs> I'm just starting. Hungry as ever. Looking, looking what? 25, you say? You saw what? You say, I look how old? Yeah, 25. Yeah. How old are you really? That's where I am. How old are you really? 25. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot deal with Mutala unless you're above 35, bro. You. She likes them. Yeah. Ah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> 25, I just told you. But listen. Yeah. You see, I believe that when, when, when you tell yourself you're done, you're old, da, 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 Yeah. Psh, 
That's how the world works. It's energy. So you call upon yourself what you want. I want to be rich. No, that's, that's, I am rich. I am. Make then you see the richness. Powers. Then you see. Yeah, the law of attraction. Uh-huh. And the power of those two words, uh-huh. I am. Yeah. I am. So, so what I'm, are I'm you right old. now? I, I'm studying. I'm hungry. <laughs> Driving a 2023 V8 <laughs> Nissan. Bruh. Huh? Iwe. It's a powerful machine. I'll drink to that. I'll drink so to that. So I'm, I'm at a place where I've, I've gone 360. Yeah. Mm. I've done my, I've run the circuit. I've fallen. I've understood. I've learned, paid my dues. But now I've got the knowledge, mm. but I still have the hunger. You see, sometimes you find that you you accumulate the knowledge, but then you are burnt out and then you don't apply the knowledge. And you're just in a place where it's like, ah, ah, ah. every day in life you're learning. Dude, speaking of paying your dues, um, I know a lot of times prophets are never accepted in our own lands. Do you feel like you're getting more love from Zambia than you are from Malawi right now or elsewhere out of Malawi? But you see, that's the thing. Mm. Um, do you know why that? The, or do you know why that is, mm. and will always be a, a case, right? It's because you grow up with your your people here, right? Mm-hmm. So you see them as equals, uh, friends, my neighbor. Ah, uh, this guy, this guy. So now it's confusing when you see a whole bunch of people now pray, eh, cheering for this guy. You mean this guy? I know this guy. This guy. You're still stuck in that this guy is own instead of appreciating, right? Mm-hmm. And that's so that's that that's a home syndrome. Even at home, you have a star in your house, but when you meet together, they don't look at you as a star. It's yeah. Like, anyway, go do gym. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like your mom sending you to buy bread. Hey, go, 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 go. Yeah. You know, it's a big I part of... You like a <laughs> it's, a big part of, it's a big part of why Jesus never performed miracles. In his... Aha. Uh-huh. Where he was born. So it's not my... Because not, I'm, like, I'm not, this, not the this one a starting a it. It's always been there. I'm not the one starting it. You understand? Yeah. But your own people will celebrate you when others start making the noise. Others will see you quicker because others, they're, they're lo- always looking at the neighbor's house, isn't it? So in your life, where's the most noise coming from right now? In my life? Hmm. Noise? What do you mean by noise? Where well, you, you celebrated said, the most? Because yeah. you still haven't answered the question. Oh, no, I'm, I'm celebrated back home. So I was going to give you an example. Right. right? I, I wouldn't be Tegrin if my people didn't love me. Mm. You must always remember that. Right? Mm-hmm. One. Two. When there's a, a war, Malawi versus any country, I am used as the benchmark. I, I, you're saying so, but we have. Do you understand? That tells you your people love you. So I'm saying to you, if... If it's internal bickering of they're saying certain things, I, even they say, no, 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 this one, we like to just troll him for fun. But hey, right. that's our guy. You get it. Yeah. And, and without that noise, you wouldn't have heard of me. <laughs> What's your biggest accomplishment? I think what I set out to do when I went into music, the sole purpose of me saying I'm going to be a musician, right? I play football. Like if you put me on the pitch, bro, I play mean football, like pro level. So I could have gone that way. But music, there was a certain time I went back home for a holiday and I noticed something. So if you allow me just to give you a brief. Take your time, man. Family. Like, <coughs> Don't make me never grew, never, I There's no time limit in this show. I didn't grow up yeah. in Malawi. You didn't grow up in Malawi? No, I didn't grow up. Where did you grow up from? So my mom worked for the UN. Worked for what? The United Nations. Right. Uh, she was the head of WHO. Okay. So we, uh, if you're familiar with the UN system, it's a one year here, two year there, mm. six months there, blah, blah, blah. So I, I traveled quite a bit. So I grew up in Botswana, Lesotho, Zimbabwe. Uh, I was born in the US, lived a bit in the UK. So I, I Congo DRC. So, it's a mix of, yeah? Mm-hmm. What were we talking about before that? I asked you what your biggest your accomplishment, your accomplishment was. Then you started talking about right. how you grew up, yeah. Cool. So, in all these places, I realized that these, these people were very proud of their culture. When I was in Congo, that's all they played. You just hear Congolese music. Mm. And at that time, Kwasa Kwasa was big when you had people like Pepe Kale. Coffee is like from way back. Way back. Everyone knows coffee, but... Papa Wemba, all these guys, right? And 
those guys who just dance to their music, dress the way they were, they were so proud of who they were in all the countries I went to. I lived in Lesotho, same thing. When I went back to my country, I realized that all the young people were very drawn to Western culture. They wanted to look like Lil Wayne. Sound like. Sound like Lil Wayne. Rap like this one. Say, hey. Dangerous. I'm talking to a guy in Chichewa. I say, Omuli Bwanji. Guys, yo, man, what's up? What's up? Uh, uh, why? Do you know what I mean? Mm. This prompted me to, so at the time, the medium or the young people were, were listening to a lot of hip hop. That's why I said I entered the game through hip hop. Mm. Because for me, it was, okay, that's the medium you guys are operating in, but I'm going to bring you a different kind of music that's fused with the culture, the drums, the stories, the rhythms, who we are. That's why if you see my music, the dancing, everything there that I portray is very much Malawi, Malawi, Malawi. You see? So when you ask me, have I achieved that? Yes, I have. Because achieved now, a yeah, yeah, okay, couple of years later, you see that even the music they're producing now is very much rooted into the Malawian culture. We're now telling our stories. We're staying true to who we are and building a nation of proud characters who will go out and be ambassadors and promote their culture, their nations, and develop their country. Well, kudos. Congratulations. I mean, it's something that I'm pretty sure you can look back and be proud of. Mm. I first knew about you uh, from Lusaka July and then your collaboration with Your Maps. And shortly after that, um, the home talent wants a thing. Mm. I haven't really gone out to listen to your music. Okay. I hope you do after this. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I actually really want to know is, you know, if you, if you go to Zimbabwe and if you say Winky D or Ja Praiser, mm. they'll tell you, or if you say Kasper your vest in, uh, in SA, they'll tell you, oh, Kasper is the only artist who could fill up the F&B stadium. Sure. Um, uh, Ja Praiser is the only artist who could release two of his own albums on the same day, compete with himself and break records. So the accolades is basically what I was aiming at to say for somebody who doesn't know you right. apart from obviously what you have just told us that sure. you, you've had people um, be proud of their own culture music wise accolades etc I'm the most decorated artist in my country how so awards yeah but awards <sighs> no, you, know, you know the problem that I have with awards or didn't you say accolades no no I hear you you know the problem that I have with awards but these are not local awards. Okay. International Channel Awards. Right. In the UK. In the UK? In which, the UK. which award was this? BEFTA, uh, BEFTA. The BEFTA Awards. Right. <laughs> I don't live there, bro. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm also in Nigeria. I was nominated for the Freemas. In Ghana, I won uh, with a song that I did with Two Face, Two Baba. Mm. It's called Chipa Papa. It won the best cultural video in Ghana for the WhatsApp awards. So, but in, in total, you said accolades. So right, that's yeah. why I said awards. Uh -huh. As far as my country is concerned, mm -hmm. I am the most decorated mm -hmm. artist with awards. And probably the most well-spoken Malawian I know. Is it traveling, you, right? Yeah. Makes it jambalaya. <laughs> yeah. I mean, being born in America, UK, hey, traveling. You're the second Malawian we've had, actually. Sorry? You're the second Malawian Oh, the Mandingo as well, yeah? Yeah, the Mandingo. That yeah. you've met. Yeah, and that we've had no, that we've, we've had, had on the done. podcast. Okay, I've, I've, yeah, I've met, I've met a few more. Have you guys, have you guys collaborated before? You and Namadingo? Yes, we have a song called La La La. Did he have an issue with his hair as well? He had an issue with his hair. His hair. Let me we, we almost cancelled the episode we did with Namadingo because of his hair. What happened with his hair? <laughs> we shot a fantastic episode. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great content. Two days before it aired, just the manager wasn't him that called us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the manager. <laughs> What's the manager? It was wasn't socks it? who called and says, "Guys, I didn't like how the hair looked and everything." So can they we want us to redo re the whole episode, episode because his hair didn't look good. <laughs> wow! I'm like the oh, deepest that we go to things, man. Yo, my hair better be looking good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your hair looks okay. 
Why are you taking off your glasses? Speaking of looks, I'm, I'm I curious. saw a photo that yeah. you posted on uh, on oh, Facebook. The red hair. I'm a clown. The red hair. The red hair. I'm a clown. You guys, you just you figure me out soon. What was that about though? The red hair. Well, my hair is red. Right, but it was permed though. No, it was no, it's not permed. Oh, was that like a Photoshop this thing? This is my hair. That hair you saw. The this red is, hair. This is it. Well, that's it. This is just... Ta- I'll introduce you to a guy called Ben Lombe. <laughs> so I have very long hair. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> he does hair, doesn't he? Hold on. Well, before we get to that. Hold yeah. on. What's, what's, what's so, no, on? I have... That is my hair. Oh, that's your hair. That's my real hair. So it's just... It locked. It's just twisted no, now. So that was... it. They call that a, a silk... A silk press. Right, right, right. Where right. your hair... When it's natural hair. You do a silk press so it comes down all the way like your the, the length of your actual hair mm. so that was just my normal hair before i did this so i like to play with people i was asking speaking of your look can, can i touch this what i uh, okay can, can i can i touch this yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead you need to ask for permission this is africa bro <laughs> my final don't, don't point that shit to me it'll vanish <laughs> <laughs> don't point that shit to me <laughs> <laughs> can i tell you a funny story about this yeah so i was i was um I won't mention the airport, but yeah. I was traveling recently. <clears throat> so I'm going through security and the guy says, excuse me, sir, this is a weapon. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I said, you're probably right, sir. Um, but it's my royal staff and it was given to me by, uh, and uh, I am meant to be with this everywhere I go. That's why I was careful when asking about touching it. Right. So yeah. I, I don't leave it with people and I don't and if I do it always finds its way back to me but if you want me to leave it it's on you sure then I continued to hand it over to him he just said no sir <laughs> you can go <laughs> where was this I think his imagination went wild like, where, where was that, 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 that I just said I won't say the airport <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, was it in Africa was it in America was it in no it was in Africa so oh, he, okay. he understood the context in which I yeah so uh, that's why I was an asking. African would get it yeah. Yeah. yeah an African would get it that's but even in America bruh no but even I, I go I, f- I fly everywhere with this thing were any words spoken A about this when being when it was being given to you yeah what was spoken to I'm you I'm the custodian of culture my guy so does this thing have like any significant power that we can talk about? Like, does it come with, I mean, this is Africa, bro. We, does it come with? It is what it is. <laughs> what is what it is? <laughs> it's the staff of power. Look at this guy trying to be mysterious now with this stick. Oh, am I freaking you out? I'm touching it, so I hope I'm not going to. No, I allowed you to. All oh, right. So if I touch it without your permission, that is what your, would have happened? That though? is your own. What would have Discovery. happened? <laughs> you would then tell us what happened. You know what? Let me hand this back. I might start growing boobs or something. Uh, <laughs> oh, it might actually cure you off your happies. <laughs> wow. Oh, your bisexuality. <laughs> See, you're my bottom bitch. What? what you don't? You don't? You don't want to be my bottom bitch anymore? That went. Yeah, also, let me not reveal too much. There's, there's people watching the podcast, bro. <laughs> I don't want people knowing about your bedroom issues. <laughs> about what? About your bedroom issues. Wow. Yeah, you're my bottom bitch. Okay. <sighs> Dude, uh, look, I uh, there's a lot about you that I want to know. Okay. So I feel like about you personally, <laughs> about about Malawi in general, because as I was just going through your your profile, I noticed your um, what what is the thing that is behind the profile picture on Facebook? What do you call that? The cover photo. Yeah. You've got this I'm in flag day. Yeah. Yeah, what's uh what, what's the story of that? I'm one of you guys now. You're my in-laws. Wait, but if you are representing your own culture like you said, how do they feel about that? No, they're absolutely happy with it. How about you rapping another country? I am in Zambia and I have been talking to you for how long now? Uh 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Uh-huh. About? Uh-huh. About what? Malawi. Yeah, but both. Zambia and Malawi. Malawi, predominantly. <laughs> You've gotten to learn about my culture, mm-hmm. my music, where I'm from, mm-hmm. shared some of my stories, shared some of my cultural stories. Mm-hmm. I'm an ambassador of my country. That you can never take away. You, you, know, you know, the craziest <clears throat> thing is, no, I like that. I like that. Uh, when we spoke to Namandingo. Mm. Namadingo. <laughs> Bruh, I watched too much Namadingo. Porn. I watch way too much porn for for me to for begin to. correcting <laughs> my vocabulary now when it comes to Mandingo. I don't take a no, while. Yeah. It, it was almost the same sentiment. He was uh, extremely proud of his country. Absolutely. You have to be. That's your identity. That you can never take that away from me. So me putting a Zambian flag mm. is just a, an appreciation of I'm a, I'm now adopted. Yeah? On my page there's I have had such a huge following recently. 
of a lot of people from Zambia, right? Mm. And even me announcing that I'm coming here and performing uh, at, uh, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the Mama Awards. Awards. There's so much celebration. I've never had so many likes on a, on a, <laughs> on a poster for an event, you know? Mm. But that just shows you how, how much they've appreciated the works that are in, in the air. The collaboration with Your Map, Somone, is doing absolutely well. You guys well, are like, what, 5 million it's views about now? about 5 million views in less than, what, a month? Or have less than three weeks? Right. Right? So all these things, for me, it's just celebrating that collaboration that Malawi and Zambia are currently enjoying. Our platforms have so much exchange going on culturally. People <coughs> in Zambia are now getting to witness different parts of Malawi that you didn't know. More than just the Or might the have thought, ah, but Malawi, Malawi, this. And then you start to see when Mutale came, the beautiful places that she was visiting. You see, so for me, that is what is very important. Mm. It's not a sellout. It's just, guys, we're one. And like you said, why are you saying Malawi like international is just over here? Yes, it's just over here. So now let's really make it just over here where you guys can come to Malawi. We do stuff there together. You understand? We open the portals. It's not, you're just not just here in Zambia, but also in Malawi. And I'm sure like even this particular one, once it airs, you have so many Malawians coming to see this podcast. Speaking of Malawians, remember to click on subscribe because remember we've been planning on having this guy. We're talking to Socks to Flyers to Malawi to with, with elation. Mm -hmm. well, I'm happy you're here. And here but speaking are. to Malawians, remember to subscribe because we're going to be having more and more artists, more and more guests, more and Definitely. more people and with stories that you want to hear about Zambia, Definitely. the regions, Zimbabwe, Malawi. So click on that subscribe button. Take him, please. I met, talk I met, to your people. I met this incredibly beautiful Malawian. woman, Malawian. That's how it starts. Uh, <laughs> I love the story that starts with. Yeah, I, mean, I met a very beautiful. I met, I met a very beautiful Mustang yeah. I will. I'll, 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 show you, I'll show you her. I'll show you her photo now. It starts like that, my guy. I understand your story. But there's something that I also want to find out. Tell, uh, tell me if you know this chick. You, you probably do. Just pass me my phone. Oh, I already. Saw, yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, right? yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Who's she? What do you mean? Who's she? He knows her. That's what's important. I know her. Yeah. Who's yeah. she? But I, I I want him to continue and then yeah what this this story go on and no, then, about her no you met a beautiful Malawian you, you met you met her yeah I met her and when did you did get you, to know her did you get to know her or like, like you know Mutale like like no hold on hold on or like in your in your way of asking question did I did smash, you smash her? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, we're talking about a lady here, no, we're talking about a lady here. What are you saying about Musadi? You say what? What are you saying about Musadi? <laughs> hey, 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 don't put words in my mouth. I, no, I see the guns pointed at you. <laughs> it ain't no fun when the rabbit's got the gun. But what I wanted to find out though, like on a more serious note. Oh, that wasn't serious? <laughs> I can go for days. No, about, about her? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay. No, it wasn't. Okay. Why publicize your relationship like that? It started in public. Facebook is? Yeah, it started in public. What do you call social media? No, the relationship uh -huh. started in public. Oh, right. So? It didn't start in private. Everybody's saying... We know, Mutala, this can't be a real relationship. That no, but her and Tegun are doing this for the numbers. But it started in? Yeah. Public. It's but what, public. what started in public? How did you guys meet? In public. Where? Lusaka July. I just told you. No, but that wasn't in public. <laughs> that wasn't in public. Okay, I'll give you a different example. The first picture you, had, you ever saw of me and Mutale was in public. Was in public. Yeah, but it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean that you owe people to start speaking about that in public. Oh, no, but you don't When you don't... No, uh, hold on. When your phone is off... Uh-huh. For you to be reprimanded on Facebook because your phone is off doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay. Do you get what I mean? I don't know. What's your point? I don't know. I'm trying to understand. She was point. yelling at him because his phone was off. Oh. At Lusaka July? No, on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> this guy's confused. It's confusing. It wasn't what I was so I don't, I don't follow much of what's happening on social <laughs> media. So if she posted that, I probably missed it. So that's why I'm Yeah, not, so not I'm saying story. when this nigga's phone was off, she was she on Facebook. To get to him. To yell at him, saying, this nigga shouldn't play with me. Nigga, why are you playing with Mutale, bro? What was your phone off? Who are you with? How much of your relationship no, then would you, would you keep private? Or so, to yourself? So, so here's the thing. You must understand that uh, 
again, we go back to what we spoke about, how you must appreciate and respect individuality. Right. Right. Everyone's their own self. Mm -hmm. Right. So my, my, like my question then back to you would be, why are you concerned? <coughs> okay. Hold so, on. Yeah, go ahead. Why are you concerned? If I'm not. Yeah, but his point is you've put it on public. So we're now sure. part of the relationship. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm just answering his question. He says, why, you know, she said this, she said this, and you. No, once again, mm. dude, what you and her do is, is up to you, right? Sure. But the minute that you make something public, sure. you're involving everybody else in your, in your relationship. Sure. So and it's been a beautiful, like, in, like, for me, if you go on all the posts. Right, 100%. Right? I, can, I can believe that. Again, even when I just arrived here. Yeah, I've seen you in her Range Rover. It's parked outside. It's parked outside, yeah. You drove the Range Rover I to here. here. Yeah. So I, was, I was asking for directions to get here. Yeah, right? and I saw you driving her Range Rover uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to here. Yeah. She, um, did, she, did this gift, she did a whole gift box for me. Oh, sweet stuff, man. So yeah. do you feel- But I was saying that when I arrived, even at the airport from immigration, right? The lady says to me, oh, Malamu, welcome. <laughs> it's, at, it's that level now? Mm -hmm. It's on that level, guy. Okay. Malamu, welcome. All this, all the immigration guys. I was taking pictures with the guys at immigration. Yeah, do you understand? So you, you must think of this thing on a, on that level. Like it's not which level on a bigger level, which is unity of two nations. This is like when a princess from Wales marries a prince from, and the two countries come together. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Kinda. Have you ever had such interaction of two countries on social media platforms? Yeah. To be honest, no. At this level where everyone is unified on one topic? No. Unless Kudos if it's, you, bro. Un unless, unless if it's for you. numbers. Unless if it's a gimmick. That's the thing. Is it for numbers? Bro. Look at the bigger picture. Which, Which is what? Is numbers? numbers? Well, that's, those, are, that's, those are your bigger What's the bigger picture? picture for you? I just told you. You guys, I don't understand if you're listening. No, 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 no. Look. Bigger picture. Okay, so you it's just for unifying My two countries here. Is, is again... Spreading of culture, okay. Preservers, let me, preservation let me, of culture. Let me ask it this way. <laughs> let me ask so it. Let me, let me ask it this way. Also, yeah. Let me ask it this way. Go ahead. I've known Mutale for like, I'm literally like Mutale's brother, right? I've known okay, Mutale so for like thirty some, years. Tell me things I don't know. I could tell you things you don't know. Come so, on, go ahead. Tell me. Get me drunk, bro. <laughs> Can we have hello? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, anyway, let me ask it this way. Let me ask it this way. I'm still asking my question. Let me ask this way. I've known Mutale for like thirty years. Give or take. Okay. Right. Okay. And she's like a sister to me. Okay. You know what I mean? I know her mom. I know her sister like that. I know her son like that. That's nice. What are your plans for Mutali? We just met, my G. Yeah, but you still could have plans, bro. She makes me I'm asking you, like, on, we're just on. the two of us. Let me tell you. And you just met my sister. You know what I mean? Local, so I'm yeah. talking to you. We just met. Mm. I've given you the rundown. Okay? Okay. She sent a team. That's how. And we've known each other for a long time. She did the interview, Kumwesu. We reconnected mm. in July. We've been chilling since then. I invited her to Malawi. We're in a place where we're both happy. She makes me happy. I make her happy. You understand? This guy's answering my question like a politician, eh? No, I'm just giving you I'm re saying reality. So like we're, we're we in a very happy place. Don't okay. fast forward my life. We are in a happy place. Both of us are extremely happy. And that's why when he said that question, I was like, yo, guy, hold on. Let's have respect. Because yeah, we're having this is we're chatting, but let's also have respect for the human being. There's some questions that you can't like ask. Okay, you can't do you, you can't you can't, like, you, you can't you, Okay, so you, you can't tell us like what you, your intentions are, but no, 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 but we're in a happy place. If and yes. when things develop, which that's why again I say to you, this relationship this thing has started in the public space. And you will know about it as it goes on. Like, where would you like it to go, though? Ooh, hi, my G. <laughs> where would you like I'm it in to a go? Happy place. <laughs> where would you like it to go, though? There's no limitation. But I'll tell you this. Yeah? I'll tell you this for a fact. That lady is a queen. Beautiful heart. No, that she is. You know, but she, I, but you know, very I'm, smart. You know, she can be dramatic as well, right? I'm speaking no, no, about but, my, my okay, sister no, I here. I hear you. Cool, yeah. cool. But like, but the person, when you sit with the person and right. have a conversation, that lady is smart. Extremely. Well, she, wouldn't extremely. Be, she wouldn't be who she is if she wasn't. You understand? So you got to give her, like her, that you, you can't take away from her. 
She's a beautiful human being. And when you sit with her, you understand that she's intelligent, Extremely. hardworking, yeah, extreme. Look, vision. you're preaching to so the even, choir. So Now we like, understand. So even like, how do you asking me the synergies between us is enormous. There's so many things that we're connecting on that are very more important than do you smash. I'll keep going back. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga. Uh, dude, if you guys are posting screenshots of your old conversations on, on social what? media. Again, social media is social media, right? And we have people that follow us, right? They were part of the beginning of it. And it's only fair to keep them throughout the journey. This no, is my, this is no, my no, You want no, us to cut not. them out? No, it's Okay, not. here's the thing. Oh, here's it's the just thing. for no, entertainment. I want for you, entertainment. No, no, hold on. I want you to tell them. Tell the viewers now that mm. you you are telling me and Mutali to stop today posting. <laughs> All right. Tell them. No, no, tell them that you don't you are tired of our our gimmick whatever you want to call it. Tell them and you want us to stop. Yeah. If they gimmick. say if if the comments wherever you post this if the comments say sure, we'll stop. Go. Tell them. It's a good it's a gimmick. <laughs> tell them whatever camera you're looking at. How tell many them. people <laughs> believe that this man and Mutali are dating? For real, for real. Like for real, for real. I'm here with. A, I'm here. We're reading the comments right now. Okay, and then, but I'm also. Are, are, we, putting, are we putting a poll in this? We're we putting up, up a poll. You gotta yeah, put a we'll poll. Put up a poll. Yeah. This is serious. Yes, this is, you gotta put a poll. Right. Are you and, gonna be here on Tuesday? Know, are you, are them, you here on Tuesday? Yeah, yeah they're they're going going on, on Tuesday. Awards. Oh, are they on Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, so because this thing is airing on Tuesday. Yeah. Awesome. This Tuesday. I want to know the results. But Dope. also let them know that I came here driving her car. Hold on, here the here the yeah, keys, I've, I've seen the Range Rover outside. It's out there. It's mm-hmm. a business deal, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> do one day, also drive her other car. <laughs> oh, man, I started to love Malawi. We should go do some more episodes in Malawi, bro. We should huh? do some more episodes in Malawi. Then do- you guys went to see the president. How did that go? We just saw the photo, but how did it go? We, we know, bro. Yeah, we know. Range Rover. The E-Wallet probably hit our account a long time ago. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, remember I was telling you when you in Africa when you when you do a witchcraft, a juju, this is the same thing. Here. Ah, well, this, is not, this, is not, this is not juju. Ta-da! This is <laughs> so you asked me a question. You went to see um, the form, the first president. Is, is was the first president of? No, he was the second. Second, sorry, yeah, president of our republic. Is our he, he knows Mutali as well. He, he knows now. No, he you knows, were no, he knows him. her now. He knows her now. Oh, you, that was the introduction. Yeah, I went like to a introduce. son taking a, of course a girlfriend to the, of to the well, father. How, how do you how do you know him? Are you guys cool like that? I am King where I'm right. from. Don't take it like we're on air here and mm. it's literal. I am a king where I am from. So what does that entail exactly? Like on a day-to-day basis? We run kingdoms. Yeah, so what does it entail? I'm focusing on culture now. There's so many things. Like what? But you see, why I start with culture, yeah? Because mm-hmm. that's the root of everything. <clears throat> When you love yourself who you are, right? Everything that you do is for the betterment of you. Correct? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Yeah, of course. So as a people, if you start to love yourself, everything you start to do will be to better your people. Correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why in some parts of our nations, we have a lot of corruption here, there, 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 there. Because we're not very much cultured, are we? Mm. I hear that. So we say, hey, let's stop corruption. Let's stop this. Let's stop that. Cool. But <laughs> does the guy you're talking to or the guy you're dealing with, is he for himself? Or is he a cultured person who understands the importance of preservation? The importance of teaching the young ones the values of where they come from, who they are, and why it's important to be proud. That's a cute answer, but on a day-to-day basis. How is that a cute answer? On a day-to-day basis, that you being a day- king. No, that is, my you... day- that is my day-to-day mission. No, that that, that, so that feels d- like no, no, the no. overall mission of what you want to accomplish, right? It's an overall right? mission, yeah. yeah but so but what now, do you do to achieve that? On a day-to-day that? basis, yeah. As the I'm king. dealing with, I am dealing with conversations with people in positions who can elevate this particular agenda. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hear you. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So it's meetings, it's this, it's projects, it's philanthropy. philanthropy. Are you paid for this? What do you mean? Are you paid to be the king? Am I paid? I don't understand what you're talking about, bro. No, like, okay. you're asking okay. about your day-to-day. Can you day tell me it? what is it that you, you envision the thing? What, no, okay, okay. Because, because, because no, no, it's a good you. question, actually. I, I, because you know the Zulu king is paid. Who? The Zulu king. 
Okay. You know, he's, he's paid for that, right? No, By the I know government. That. I know that. So I'm asking you I that you that. are a king in where you are from. Does sure. that come with a salary? Does that come with money? That's what I'm asking. I'm well paid. So and, you are and, paid. And it's not, I'm well paid. By the government? By the I'm government well for that role. I do projects with government. I right. do projects with NGOs. So you are I do projects so you are with corporate. I am 100% well paid. So why did my question then seem foreign? Well paid. No, but I don't understand. Like the way you're saying oh, it. Oh yeah, it like, came out a bit random. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. what you mean. Okay. Yeah, but. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. One thing that baffles me about Malawi, like by, by, by square kilometers, your country is quite small. Mm. Shaped like a human being with a big belly. Exactly. Oh, is it right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, by, by that's squ- exactly how I'm shaped. <laughs> like, like Malawi. Malawi. Yeah. Like Malawi. You fit in. <laughs> <laughs> and then on your back, you got the link. Like it's like a, it's like you're carrying something on your back. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, that's how I look at the map. I'm funny like that. But yeah, yeah it's really dope though. Yeah. Well, Dude, but you're an artist. Things. You're pretty yeah. creative, so it's easy you for you to see every... stuff that no, nobody else sees. Right. I was saying by square kilometers, your country is quite small. Right. Like, it's, Malawi is not even a quarter by surface area of what Zambia is. But you know, the population is way bigger than ours. They're humping. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask, was there like a government decree? Like, guys, nah. look, <laughs> let people. us go forth and multiply. <laughs> Healthy people. <laughs> they stay busy. <laughs> Why do you like, think, like, how do you guys go? Why do you think their president is like shipping some of them to? <laughs> what's the country where your president ships some people to? Man, I don't know where they're taking them to. Uh, what, what was that? <laughs> you, you, you know, uh, mm. Lazarus said, "I promised you niggas jobs. I didn't, just, I didn't tell you where." <laughs> there's a war in. Um, <laughs> what's the country where there's a war again? <laughs> Uh, Dude, t- help me out. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm busy laughing. Right? What, Ukraine? <laughs> no, not Ukraine. Not Ukraine. The most recent one. Gaza. Gaza. <laughs> so, like, go bro, and pop up dead bodies. That's wrong, man. What kind of joke is that? I promised you jobs, but I didn't tell you where. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me pull that shit out. Wow. <laughs> that guy's a gangster. The uh, bruh, did you hear about this guy flying to Europe for a Zoom meeting? I was like, oh, we've got no internet back then. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Other no. guy's gangster. He took his whole family and his in-laws, 10 people, private jet. For a Zoom meeting. For a Zoom meeting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear Legend. I swear they're going to stone me in Malawi. <laughs> No, finish you, <laughs> no, finish Wait, you. I, I, I want to bring this up. Uh, Malawian president. <laughs> Why is the wait for uh, This guy, we, we have shots for him. He said he needs to need I, mean, I, don't, I don't drink, uh, sadly. You don't drink at all? <clears throat> no, I don't drink at all. <laughs> then you do the other thing. Dude, Which I mean, is, also, while, while you're searching for that, let me I just ask know, uh, something <laughs> about <laughs> he, He's busy with other no, things. But, but, don't, but don't, don't we all, though? What? Get do busy the other with other things? things? No, the other thing. Dude, that's this, my point, is don't we all? Those no, that drink and like, those that don't. No, but then you have extremes. Like, you do the thing. There are those who do some, they do. And then those who do, and they do. Uh, you can't just be like... This one, he do do. But when you say, I don't do, then we say, then you do. He does do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Dude, there's this girl I've been trying to find out about in Malawi. Okay. Felistas Nya. You guys have a lot of girls in Malawi you're trying to Nya find out about. Nya No, I'm trying to get her on the podcast, but I need to find out from you. That's a queen, man. She's a queen, eh? Yeah. Felistas. Felistas, uh, we want you on the podcast whenever you're in Zambia or should we travel to Malawi for you? And I hope Tegrin I'm sure makes she it happen will, when she we come will through. watch this and yeah. she definitely will come on. She's such a beautiful soul. Such a beautiful soul. I've been watching her content such and she's so funny. Most of it is in Chewa and I understand bits of it. Yeah. There's that girl uh, she does the skits with. Mm. Uh, I think they call their skits Vile Keke or yes, something. Keke. I enjoy those, man. Vile Keke. She would the, talk about Vile men Keke doing this to women. Vile Keke. Vile Keke. So powerful. Vile Keke means like, stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, like she's so, she's so powerful in terms of just her creation capabilities. Right. But also her ability to humble herself and come and ask for advice. So you guys talk a lot. We speak every day. In fact, I called her this morning when I was coming uh, to Zambia. We speak right. every day. Like when I look at her, that's for me. It's So one of the things, if you ask me a question, like <clears throat> what are the things that you fear? I fear about like, okay, if you leave today, what do you fear the most? Mm. Right? Right. For me, it's just, um, it's actually just, 
not being able to live the the knowledge I have with someone. Who are you living this knowledge with right now? So whoever wants to whoever wants to listen. And who do you get knowledge from? You get knowledge every day, bro. No, like I'm sure there's mentors that you no, of visit course. on I a mean, regular. Look, you saw me with taking Mutale to see the the former, former president. president. Right. Right? He's my mentor. I have a lot of former presidents that are my mentors. I have a lot of great businessmen that are my mentors. I have a lot of great musicians that are my mentors. I suck in knowledge from everywhere and anywhere I go. In fact, my my mission on a daily basis is to learn three or four different things that I didn't know. Because I, I just want to make you wiser. So all that knowledge <coughs> and this all started because of uh of Felicitas. How so? She's a person who who always come and ask for knowledge. So, for instance, you ask me who are you leaving this knowledge with? Mm. Yeah, so I'm just giving an an, an, right. an example to say she's, 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 she's someone who humbles herself. Yeah. And times will come and ask, say, "Oh, I'm doing this. What do you think? Or how can I go about this?" You know, but a beautiful soul. So definitely if you want must have her on here. No, we should. Um either we travel to Malawi or we we catch her when she actually, comes to Zambia. Actually, you guys should come to Malawi. We sh- oh, we, no. You know we you were actually on the plan? No, no, we, but we spoke to so done, you know, this, this is Peter. part one. So now we're going to do Yeah, we should do part two from your in home. In the kingdom. Yeah. Hey, are you listening? We started from I'm, the I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking for the article. <laughs> Which article now? The, well, I'll, I'll tell you just now. The Zoom meeting. <laughs> we're going to start the wow, episode. Wow, you're still there. No, no, not, not the Zoom meeting. <laughs> so I'm I'm, I'm going to read this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Malawian president uh, slammed for sending workers to Israel among Gaza conflict. <laughs> so What's this guy job? said, when I was, you say what? What's the job? Maybe he there is a job. I'm, I'm about to tell you. Okay. Why not? Hang on. <laughs> he dispatched 221 <laughs> young Malawians to engage in agricultural work in Israel. <laughs> okay. Why am I laughing you before you start? Like, you're a funny guy. You're laughing because there's a war right no, now, bro. Because there's a war. I this thing was like, I promised you jobs. I just didn't tell you where the job was going to be. I'm speaking as a gangster. Let me tell you something. I've got this favorite comedian of mine that, that I know who, who, who said, you can bamboozle people if you've got a fancy accent. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus came with this fancy accent, bro. And people will be like, oh, he's so eloquent. <laughs> Vote for him. Yeah, let's lift it up now. Everybody who speaks well is done for now. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, Malawians have a great sense of humor, bro. I think the most... <laughs> let, me t- let me tell you the last... Chaponda. L- let me tell you the that final Chaponda joke. guy? The comedian? Oh, that guy's brilliant, uh, yeah, Let me tell funny, you the final joke funny. that this guy did. Mm. You know that the, um, the, <laughs> the Malawian quarter joke. was devalued <laughs> by 40%? <laughs> wow. Serious. Did you hear about that? No. You, know, you, know, you know about that, right? Yeah. He uses dollars. Who didn't know? My Ndama Zanga No, but he's, uh, he's in touch with his culture. Ndama mm. Zanga Right, so it got devalued. <laughs> it got devalued by 40%. Do you know what Lazarus is? Amazing. Economical response. To that is what rebasing? Nope. What was it? Switch to what, dollar. What, what do you think? What do you think? No, very, very good suggestion. But no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that smart. What do you think when the when his uh, currency gets devalued by forty percent? What do you think? A genius idea that this president would have come up with? Change the currency? No. Mm. Your guys are thinking too logically. <laughs> this man doesn't think that logically. <laughs> he declared, Break it down like a fraction for us, man. Break it down like a fraction, yeah. He declared seven days of prayer. I am great, man. But isn't that how National Day of Prayer started in Zambia as well? S- seven days. Like, over, ah, over the, over the economy. <laughs> For this economy to get back up. Strategy. <laughs> strategy. Okay. I don't want too logical, bro. <laughs> so you wow. talking about dollar, ah. printing more. Nah, man, back to not, not to I, I, I really want Felicitas. So I've, I've, I've been watching a lot of our content, and does she have like her own TV channel now, or this is just a? Facebook pages? No, and she's so she's creating content on uh, her and she's Facebook. calling it uh, Vilakeka TV. Yeah. That's brilliant, man. But uh, at the rate she's going, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't doubt that uh, one day you see her owning her own station and running it through her own network. Or she's just she's making she's money. Like an Oprah I hope she's making money. She's like an Oprah in my mind, like you see. I hope she's, she's making money. No, she's making money. Good. She's making money. Good. Uh, Phyllis, just hope to see you soon. And uh, like I said, man, make sure link up. I'll, I'll make sure you guys connect. 
Yeah, that's it's, important. it's important. So when, when do you when do you want us there? Where do I? When well, do you want us to come? To Malawi. Yeah. Anytime when I'm here for the time being. Yeah, that's cool. Let me see how well you treat me here. And and then, is and treating then, you well. That's all you need, no, bro. But this is you guys now we're talking about. How so have we you are, how are you riding on Mutale's wave? How have we treated you how so far? You? Where's the way to go? Let's treat this man better how than have we have in the past so 30 far? minutes. What have you done so far? Apart from ask we've, me if I've smashed and We've what, hosted you. What? Eh? We've hosted you. Uh, okay. Can we find a waiter to keep? Waiter. To- <laughs> no, no, don't worry. You, you'll drink until you're good. No, but genuinely, uh, I'm, when I go back, you guys are more than welcome. No, to thanks come. a lot, man. Again, it's culture exchange. You Absolutely. Guys dig into the culture, get to know about Malawi, make money in Malawi. Why? 100%. Not? Do you know what I mean? 100%. <clears throat> Do you know? And that's, that's the journey. So when I say I want to open these borders up, I'm, I'm talking financially, not culturally. Right, and there are things that we need the to discuss. The entertainment as well, synergy. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And can I tell you something? Literally, entertainment right now because we we were fist bumping a few minutes ago right. about how um, Malawi and Zambia are now talking on the platforms in a very positive way, mm-hmm. right? And that's because one again, the song "Somone" with your maps, and you know this beautiful thing with Mutale. <clears throat> entertainment has done what politicians have failed to do. Sorry, sorry Wait, to interrupt. Our guy, the waiter we had at first. Can you please keep this man he, he, drinking? He owes me goat meat. Why? You say what? Okay, yes. Please. Because we're Thank good you. hosts, Tay. Oh, yes. We're fantastic hosts. And That's why. Madam, uh, two more shots of Hennessy for this gentleman here. Yeah. No, just just uh, one double for him, yeah. But why are you answering on his behalf? You could tell the lady what no, he wants. No, I know what he's drinking. Okay. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, bro. You're saying? Entertainment has done what no Politics politician... Have failed. Oh yeah, politics have failed to do. Yeah, one hundred percent. United nation, two nations, yeah. in love and harmony. So beautiful. Eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys are like Romeo I and mean, Juliet uniting the. I mean, even in history, Already? entertainment artists <laughs> have done a lot more. Soccer. <clears throat> in fact, I've always felt like politics actually gets in the way. Why does it? Out, why me. does it outshine entertainment? Do you think? Tell me about that. Why does what? Why does it outshine? What does what outshine what? Politics. Outshine entertainment? Yeah. No, it's the other way around. I think. I think soccer is the biggest platform no. that unites oh, sorry. people. I cut you. You were saying something. Yeah, no, I was saying even in history, entertainment has always brought people together. Oh, okay. A lot more than politics ever okay. has. Okay. And I went on okay, to say, I always say. feel like politics actually gets in the way of progress. It does. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think the only thing that united people more than politics back in the day, which is still political anyway, when royalty married each other from country to country to unite the country. Remember that? <coughs> Like Germany yeah. and the UK. That was entertainment. <laughs> In a way. Yeah. In a way. No. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, apart from you, I'll tell you who I think the biggest entertainer in um in Malawi is. Tell apart me. from you. The president? Nope. I think he's the second biggest. <laughs> Who's the first? Bushiri. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. You said no five times, bro. What's, what's up with that? No, because I'm agreeing and then disagreeing because I'm looking at his face, right? And mm. then I feel like, because mm. this is a like, joke at this one. Yeah, and it's not. Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> also, maybe so I'm not agreeing because I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this. And then, and then he says the thing and then Because, dude, like he still has to go back to Malawi. Mm. No, oh. no, it's not that. But like, well, okay, I'm going to tell you before you talk. Because go ahead. Go I, be, ahead. I feel like it would be safer that way. Go ahead. The reason I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm saying yeah, agreeing to the statement that he's a big entertainer. Right, mm-hmm. I, I'm looking at it more as a like a big brand, someone who, in his field, is a star. Cocaine is a is a big brand too. Look at this guy. <laughs> see, see why I say, see I said talk before he talks. He still can't go back to SA. Huh? No, it's a big brand. So, uh, that's, so what was it, with, that's what I was agreeing with you. Is he still rich without his that, what, you, what you say? So so now, now you can say now, now you can say your part. You say what? You can now say the part you wanted to say about him being an entertainer. Yeah, I want to understand that. That. Let me prefix by saying I don't know this man. Okay. So you're not going to judge him. Everything I know is based off what I read. Okay. Could I have read only the publications that didn't like him? Possibly. Okay. But from what I understand about this man, he is the biggest con man ever. Okay. 
That's my understanding about this guy. Based off what you've read. Based off what I've read. Okay. Yeah. And, and this could be clear. media that... That's my point. Okay. Is on a mission to bring him that's down. That's my point. Because yeah. it could be South African media. <laughs> that's trying to bring him down, yeah. That's trying to so, bring him down. I'm going to base it on... Off the fact that I know him personally. Oh, let's hear this. Okay. Bro. One to one. Mm-hmm. Where's right? the God, bro? Mm-hmm. So you are basing it off of what you've read. Right. right. Uh, Never met this man. <laughs> Never met him. Never attended his church. <laughs> Never been anywhere near him. I, I saw a clip though where you were saying, in your fridge there's a there's a there's a, there's a tomato. We all have those in our fridge. What did what did Tio call that again? <clears throat> it was in the promo. <laughs> no, he called it power the knowledge. Tom- the tomato story. Yeah, when when prophets do that, like oh. yeah, when it was no, like, I, I don't know I, no, I don't want to talk about that stuff because like, <clears throat> yeah, but go ahead because you know him personally. I know him personally, so his he, <coughs> him he he described the man based off of what I read, publications, right, right, right. <clears throat> so I just wanted to highlight to him that I know him personally, personally, yeah. mm-hmm. and he's a, for me the man that I've interacted with is a very intelligent human being, one who has who moved, Dini was has moved. Oh yeah, brilliant. That's why you know him. But now, is it a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. You see, this is the thing about, again, I, I always look at, <coughs> I look at what I know, right? Right. So I'm not going to judge you based on what, Everything what else. Yeah. I've heard or someone has said, but my interactions with you and what you tell me and what 100%. I, you understand? Yeah. So for me, my interactions with him all the time have been beautiful. He's a very intelligent man. Someone that I, has even uh, advised me on several matters in my career, mm. has even invested in my career. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? And yeah. he, he wouldn't go out and say this and that. But that's the personal knowledge I have of, of the him. man. Very different from what is written. Very different from what people allude to and say. Right? But Can I ask again, you a question? Okay. Could both things be true? You could be a very intelligent person. Sure. You could be a very kind person. Sure. But you could also be everything else. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, just recently, we started hearing about what Diddy was doing. Right. Whether it's true or not. Sure. We started hearing about what Michael Jackson was doing. <laughs> was he a great musician? 100%. Mm. Was he probably a great father? 100%. Sure. So both things could be true. At the you same know what I mean? time. Right. right at, at the same time. Right. So, but I, I can only speak to what I know. To what you know, of course. You absolutely. I, mean? I can now then start telling you, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that thing I read, yeah, yeah I think. I don't no, know. I, I get it. I'm, I'm just going to be a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you what I know. If I didn't know the man, I would be like you as well saying, well, I never met him. So we heard this, we heard that, we heard this. But in my, in my interactions, all the times that I've met him, uh, a stand-up guy, uh, someone who's worked really hard to get to where he is, that's something to admire, first and foremost, right? Before you start throwing mad at mm. and saying all oh, this and that, right? Because all of us come from nothing. We are born with nothing. And then we work to where we are today, right? Yeah. And it's a journey. So we've done stuff, we do things, et cetera, et cetera. But I can't speak for someone. I, I've, never, and I've never put myself in front to say, hey, I can attest for unless I really, like I, you're with me all the time. It's like the way the two Mutale is. The Mutale people know social media. Right. And the Mutale, yeah, the Mutale I know. Because you know. right. when I'm at her house right. and the mother is there as well, that Mutale, right. people have no idea. Like right. when I describe to people, ask me like, you, you have Mutale True. friends. Is she like that? I'm like, you know what? I'm not really on social media, but the Mutale you know yeah, yeah, and like, the Mutale I know like, are two different <laughs> human beings. Yeah, yeah. One is the I, business. I heard that guy's building a city. Is that true? Oh, like uh, like Bushiri, a city? Like, uh, no. Um, uh, who are we talking Bushiri. about just now? Bushiri. Mm-hmm. Like Egon. Go- Goshen City. Oh, like what's it called? Goshen. 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 Mm. Oh, from it's the in Oh, that's dope. Beautiful plans. I've seen oh, yeah? the plans. And, uh, you know, they're, I think, putting together different packages, looking for investors. They've started building. And I think, again, big big up to that because it's an attraction for the nation. Again, putting right. Malawi in the limelight. You know what? That's probably why the Vox guys are always there. Which guys? Which guys? Fox. Okay. Okay. What, did I say something I was not supposed to say? No. They just I said, just okay. don't know who you're talking about. Uh, no, I'll, I'll explain something just now. You tell me? They probably don't want their business out there. Okay. Yeah. Is that my drink? What, that? <laughs> it's probably your drink. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that is. It's like a really big plate. It's just, just for me and him, so. I also need a whole shock for lunch. I think it might be in the way of the camera. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just my, it's just my hunch. <laughs> Catfish, you could be hiding okay. me. <laughs> All right. No, you're the star of the show. <clears throat> hmm? you're, you're the star of the show. There's no way we can hide you. If we have to hide anybody, <laughs> it is you. <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the acne on my face. But can I say something? Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, dope. And uh, if you guys both have a drink, I'd like to toast to. Uh, actually, this is to be honest and fair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why, why you have an empty? Show, just, this is hard to see. I, I'm not. I'm not. With no like, I'm not. I don't know. I should say it or I shouldn't say. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but like I've been to interviews. You know what I mean? Where like it's just crickets. Where do you see yourself in five years? When did you realize you had a talent? <laughs> what does your name mean? What, bro? <laughs> Fuck, what does your name mean? <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. What kind of question is that? <laughs> no, no, dude, what, what does your name mean? <sighs> <laughs> Actually, I never asked you what your name was. You, you see what I mean? Uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, man, this, I'm like enjoying myself. So, this is really nice. No, Tay Green, what does your name mean? No, so Tay Green is, for me, mm. the origin of my musical career. Right. In high school, I'll just, I'll cut it real short. But in high school, I used to get bad grades when I was in music class. Because, uh, I don't know, man. The thing, instruments, we were meant to learn instruments. They put me in, the mar- in front of a marimba. I was like, what? I just, I was getting bad grades. So I was very competitive. And in my, I was in this school where if you were hitting a, a grade point average of 3.6 mm. every month, on all the tests, you would then get a letter from the president of America. Mm, Because you'd be outstanding. Uh Aha. Yeah. Right? So this music thing was just failing me. So I changed it and I took art. Because my brother was an artist and it was very easier to do, to draw and stuff, right? Right. And there I was getting A's. So I was getting those GPAs. I've got a couple of letters from... The president himself. Uh Which president? Bush. Bush. Right. Right. No, that guy was an entertainer. <laughs> He's my w- w- which entertainer. one? Huh? W or no, the H. One. H. Uh, that, that's W. That's, that's, wait, that's H, right? Yeah. Ah, he was an entertainer. <clears throat> what are we talking about? Uh, your art. You get into art. We're trying to understand your name. Your where name. you came from. Brilliant. <clears throat> so, finally got to that point where I got the grade to be sitting nicely and I was doing art, right? Music, I put it out, I dropped out of music class. That wasn't my thing. That was in Zimbabwe, Harare International School. Then I went to- Expensive school, that. Very expensive. Then I went to uh, Botswana, left. My mom conned me, eh? Because I love this school and she moved to Botswana and she was like- Were you in Gaps? Were you in Gaps? No, I didn't go to Marapula. I went to the other one. I don't know the other one. (sighs) On the far side of town. You can't remember the school you went to, bro. (laughs) They're what's, going to hate me. They're going to hate me. Oh, oh. What's in this energy? <laughs> what, are you, what are you putting this man's drink? Come on, tell me the schools in Botswana. I know, I know, I know Marapula. Marapula, but I'll tell you something. Uh, Marapula is where, so my story will end up in Marapula. You're a funny guy. Anyway, I remember my school soon. But Wait, are, are there high schools? Yes. Uh, Westwood. Westwood International School. That's where I went to. You went to really good schools, bro. Thank you. I went to Westwood International School. I'm sorry. It sounds fancy. I, it is very... <sighs> guy. Lots of white people. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of school. It's like fifteen thousand dollars a term vibes. Can buy a merch every term, school. bro. Then look how you turned out. This is a product. <laughs> 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 Send your children to grad school. <laughs> so Are you uh, hearing this? <laughs> That's why my kids are at good schools. Right. Yeah. Right. So then I went to Botswana and I met t- uh, three fabulous friends. Teto, Fiona. And a guy called Crafty. Was Fiona white? Fiona uh, is light in complexion, very tall, beautiful. Like most, like most, like most swanas. Beautiful. Mm. I had a beautiful friend in Fiona. Okay. Right. right. Moving on. Moving on. So these friends of mine would come to Swiftly. the house all the time. And after school, because my mom would, you know, African moms love to just keep food in the house, right? So we always used to go home, get food. And be on the computer. <coughs> Crafty was a beat maker. Fiona used to rap. And Tetsuo was also a rapper. Right. 
I was the poet in the room who dropped out of music school because that was just complicated. I would just rather do poetry and draw, right? But being around these guys, they got me into music. So I started writing and would crafty would make the beats, would record on these little um the computers back in the days had this little mic that came with the PC, that big right. you remember those ones? Yes. Yeah. What year was this? Eh, guy. You remember? Uh 2001. So I'm sure you use Fruity Loops and whatnot. Fruity Loops. Yeah. On the big head uh, Dell. Mm. <laughs> where the thing that comes like. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. That's where my music uh, career started. Well, my now to realize passion, right? So these guys now, say, yeah, man, you write anyway. You're good with the pen. Just come put that poem on beats. So we started doing this thing and they entered us into a talent show at Marapula. Without me knowing. Mm. And then I went there because I was saying, yo, I'm going with my friends and I'm going to, you know, because they were rappers and like Fiona and them, they were just spitting like mean bars, right? Went and they're like, yo, yeah, you're going to be part of the, that song we did, you remember? So that's, ah, guys, no, no, no. Eventually got on the stage. I'm like, okay, all right. Hey, this stage thing feels nice, eh? And that's it. So for me, that's where music started. And I was on that stage without a name. Mm. Then the next day we went back home and then I said, yo guys, yeah, that music thing is, I think it's nice. Can we do more of that? But I need a name though. So the names, names were thrown back and forth in the room until Tay Green came about. And I was like, oh, that sounds nice. It just fell from nowhere. Just like Tay Green. I was like, I don't know what that means. But I like it. But I like it. So for me, Tay Green is the beginning of my music the career. Genesis. That's where it started. Everything started. And that's the story that started birthing me from not loving music into, okay, let's do this. Getting a name. T-A-Y. Hyphen. Hyphen G-R-I-N. grin. I-N. This African youngin. Let me think of the grin part. Yeah. yeah I've got to tell you though. This no, Af- the this grin could be weed. This it looks African, like it's yeah, I like weed. that. This African, African youngin. youngin. Yeah. Great royalty. You can finish the other one. Yeah, um, we, we, we we'll continue. figure it out as we go. Yeah, yeah, you have a computer in there, bro. <laughs> you it's processing. The to fill in my it's processing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, know, it's, you know, it's so funny because right before we started shooting, you remember we had said, we don't want to talk as much because we don't want to give anything away. Yeah. The more that I speak to you, I think you are turning out to be my second favorite guest. Yeah, it's been, it's been really cool, man. Like, um, I'll tell you why. Okay. So, uh, how long have you guys been running for? Uh, uh, 100 episodes. And I'm your... St- I'm, is, already, I just skipped number two. two. No, I'll tell you why. This is yeah. episode 102. Oh, just out of curiosity, who's number one before you tell me? It is uh, BJ. Uh, so this is a comedian guy called BJ. Henry BJ. Okay. Henry BJ. Okay. Well, that was a dope episode. Yeah. I'll comedian? tell you why. He's okay. a comedian. I'll okay. tell you why. So this guy is... I'm funny too. You hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> right? <laughs> let, the, let the Hennessy sink in. I want to get to number one. kick in. I'll tell you why. So, okay. so, so, so Henry's like a fat guy. Like he's, he's big as a house. Okay. Right. And my favorite kinds of people, and this is why I get along with Kalinga quite a lot. There are people okay. who, that get offended on his behalf is the way I show affection is I make fun of you. Mm. If you are a person who doesn't take themselves seriously, we're going to get along very well. Perfect. So when I, when I met Henry, I thought he was going to be stuck up about his appearance, but he began making jokes about himself way before I did. <laughs> I was like, I like, like in the this. first five minutes, he started talking about his weight. Oh, wow. He started yeah. roasting himself. Okay. So like the more that I hear you speak, it, it reminds me of one or two friends that I had in, in, in college where the way that you think is not um, average. Like you, you think things through. I had a I had a guy that I shared uh, when I, when I first went to university. Uh, he was a rapper as well. Okay, called Horatio, mm-hmm. and he's one of those guys that That's a nice name. Eh? Yeah, it's very Shakespearean. Eh? But there's an actor called Horatio. Yeah, it's one of those guys oh, that yeah. would think things in NCIS? different yeah. pains. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Horatio. In, yeah. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So <laughs> the more that you speak, right? Uh, especially from what seems like a pretty straight, obvious question, you bring a totally different take. And perspective to it. Right. So now that the Hennessy has sunk in, are you going to answer, what are your intentions for a girl, bro? Same as before. Do you know alcohol will never turn the man? I just want me to loosen you up a little bit and tell us the whole I truth. I was loose the first time I got here. You're not going to get it out of him, bro. <laughs> you notice how I kept ordering drinks? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get it out nah, of him. Nah, trust me. 
So yeah. again, you have to understand I've been in the entertainment industry for over 20 years. Right. Bro, let me ask you a question. How long have you been famous for? Give 20, or take? 20 years. 20 years. Solid. Think of the first year that you were famous. The first year. Maybe that you realized you're famous. Maybe other people liked you or knew you and you didn't realize that. What was that like for you? Okay. <clears throat> Can I maybe explain the kind of human being I am? Sure. From kindergarten, like if, if, if you go back to my house, I've got this like a box that looks like this, right? Uh-huh. It's got accolades from as far as kindergarten. So I've always been a competitive person in anything I do. If I'm in school, if I'm doing sports, if I'm, so I've always been that guy that achieves and therefore everyone knows. Does that make sense? So that has never, it's, it's, it's inbuilt. It's always been ingrained always in you. been in me. So the way, the way to impress me is not to come and tell me that I'm good at what I do because no, I know because I do it exceptionally very well. Because I take my time to do it, I, I learn it, and I, you know, it's like you guys, right? You're mm -hmm. exceptionally good at what you do, and you put your time into it. So that's not the conversation. But again, this is now coming back to what you have observed, which is how I give different dimensions to simple questions, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like, again... All we're doing is trying to give each other as much information in the limited time that we have. Mm. This still doesn't answer my question, though. The first time. I like that. So, context you're, no, no, that you're, you gave. Yeah, I'll give you the context, but now your question is when how, and how they felt, right? Right. So, so I'm, I'm just trying to give you the... I get the context <clears> the now. The context, you say that right. the, the, the idea of fame for me... Mm -hmm isn't something that I sit on as, ooh, I'm famous, or how does it feel to be famous? I understand what I am able to do and the ripple effect, which is either admiration or people saying, wow, your work is good or this and that. But now that gives you, me, immense responsibility because now when I speak or when I interact with these people on these different platforms, people are knowing me for different things. I must be able to be kingly, and disseminate things that are of value. So it's, fame has never been my thing of, oh, I'm famous now, or now I feel like, no, it's just acknowledging that I'm on a mission. People are, are seeing it and being, res being responsible with your platform. How much of fame do you feel is toxic? Can, is it toxic? Of course, it's very toxic. Do you know when you're famous and you hear someone say, I, want, I wish I could be famous, you almost want to tell <laughs> like no, no, you don't. No, you don't. You, be careful what you ask for. Ah, it's. Have you ever felt like? Have you ever been in a situation where? Mm, usually, this happens to guys when you're doing something wrong. Gas plate. And all guys are going to relate to this. No, don't go away. I want to see your face. Actually, oh, is a. I'm gonna hold on because. Whose face you, you want to see? My face. I want to see all your faces. All right. Because <clears throat> a lot of guys can relate to this. This feeling, right? Um. When you do something wrong and your girlfriend texts you and she says, and she calls you by her name and she says, we need to talk. Yeah. Is that yeah, feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you even stop eating, yeah? Yeah. Even if you're about to eat, you stop. Well, right? I can relate. That your, feeling, heart your heart drops to your stomach. Boom, right? Because you're like, fuck. Like, what the fuck is this now? <laughs> that feeling, that's what fame feels like every day. So when you say, I want to be famous, if you're a guy, that feeling, if, I know every guy has felt that feeling. That's fame every day. It's the pressure. Because this one's saying this, this one thinks that, this one's this, there's a story there, there's this and that. You have to deal with so much. And you, um, know, you, know, the, you know the craziest thing about, about fame mm -hmm. and what you've just said and how it's like a drug? Right. Is also the length that people go to. To get it. Not only to get it, mm -hmm. but to stay relevant. Sure. Especially when you're losing relevance. Oh yeah, that's it. Because once you've but tasted I, I feel like, it, I feel like that's, that's, a, that's, that's a disease for artists that don't know themselves. Because you feel like you've done... Self-realization is something ah, different. You know what I mean? We're going back to our initial discussion. Right. We're on a journey to perfect because ourselves. Because nobody prepares you for fame. Nobody does. And you, but you're fame, you can get fame today, any day. But 100%. But nobody prepares you with what comes with it. it. 
You say what? Sustaining, but sustaining it. it. Right. And there's two kinds of people. Mm-hmm. One that gets famous, they, they, they do want the fame. And so even if it goes away, they don't give a shit. Right. And there are people who, when they get famous, they want to sustain that. Sure. And so when they begin to lose relevance, that's when they begin faking relationships on Facebook. Mm. Get what I mean? Why are you smiling? Is that meat that good? Dude, I did not go ribs with this good, bro. Is that yeah. goat rooms? Yeah. This is goat. I hope they make them like they do in Malawi. There's this place. And it's a female goat. Very sweet. Did you, did you eat? Did you have lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the air holes, please? <laughs> <laughs> must have been a very happy goat, hey? Very. How do you know it's a female goat? You can tell by the taste, by the soft, tender meat. Huh? Yeah. Dude, um, just adding on to Elson's question. Did you, did you eat, bro? Let's, no, let's, let's dig in. Uh-huh. Let's dig in. Mm-hmm. Just adding on to Elson's question. We were discussing uh, AK, uh, Casper and Yves earlier and how on, I think it was the LTD podcast, he described how AKA gave him so much pressure to, you know, churn out good music all the time. You mm, know what I mean? Who's mm, that to you? Mm, mm. Who's that guy to you? Himself. No Me. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a guy who puts out music, either not just in Malawi, let's talk Me. about the region. His name is Tay Green. I don't know why you keep looking for another guy, guy. Me. Okay. All right. Wait, have you been Do part you of this know? conversation? I don't know, man. He's been like, <laughs> this is the most confident person. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. You want me to ah, for someone? On, man. I, did you just join this conversation? Guy, 20 years. 20 years in the game. Solid. At the top. No, no, my point not, is, not, look, not, dude. Not, my, not, my, let, me, let, me, let me explain this to you. Okay. Not that guy who are, I'm talking solid. Mm. 20 years, solid. Um, I, I understand your point, where you're coming from. And Elson backing up. Look at this fly now. Once that goat lady disrespecting my goat. <laughs> <clears throat> Once some of that female goat yes, thing. You are confident. Maybe I should phrase it another way. Kaleng, are you recording there? Oh shit, we've not been recording for one hour 30 minutes. Damn. That's Dude, a tragic. That'll be tragic. Um That's a tragic thing. You said you are the only human brand. Brand. In Malawi, on the top five big brands of Malawi. According to a very big magazine publication, yes. Oh, seriously? It's just it's just what you're making claims. No, yeah. I'm not claiming anything. And according yeah, to mistake. CNN and Icon. Serious? <laughs> Dude, we should count ourselves like it to have this brand. You can go on YouTube, it's there. They see an interview. A musical icon. We should count ourselves blessed to have you on the podcast, bro. No, I'm blessed. I mean, like, for me, it's never about accolades. Again, it's just... Mm. You ask what I tell you, but then sometimes it sounds like I'm bragging or no, I just, it's just, if you can it, beg it, it is up. what it is. If you can beg like it there's up. There's a line Pete Diddy mentioned in his song. It's like, to you, it's a Bentley. To me, it's a Dude, blue can you car. please sit back? Kalenga, I'd like to look at this man. I'm sure you'd like to look <laughs> Dude, at me you too, right? You yeah, fish, yeah, yeah. I didn't disturb you. So there's a, there's no, a, because Tay Green was not there. There's, right, a line, there's a line I was saying, yeah. yeah. Uh, because you mentioned Diddy. So there's a line Diddy in his raps back in the day said, to you, it's a Bentley. To, to me, me, it's a blue car. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. Just <coughs> different perspectives. <clears throat> what do you think about what's going on with him? Set up. I just feel like that space, that era of music um, is going through a tough time. Why is that? Sometimes also when things are there for a long time, it becomes a problem, I think. You know? You've been there for a long time? Yeah, but then how are you there? That, see, the other thing is, how are you treating those that are also coming? So do you believe in the shit that's, that's he's been, that he's been accused of? That's social media. I, I've never met the guy. We're going back to the Bushiri question. Yeah. No, no, but what's your perspective? Regardless <laughs> of you having met him or not. No, but I, I, I'm not going to have a persp- I'm not going to have an, a, a side, an opinion. An opinion. You haven't to, met the guy before. I've never met the guy. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I had, a, I had a very interesting conversation with, um, with Denny, that guy. Oh, from Zimbabwe, yeah. Yeah. And um, some people were saying, you know, when you settle, he shouldn't have settled because when you settle, you look guilty. And I was of the other opinion that even when you haven't done something wrong mm. and you're accused of that mm. and you can afford to settle, go ahead and settle. Why? Also, you're of the opinion that no, you should settle. Why? 
I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why. It's quick, eh? No, 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 I'll, no I'll tell you why. why you're saying that. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Yeah. <laughs> He's being accused of rape. Okay. Amongst other things. Okay. We live in a world of social media mm-hmm. where we have got the court of public opinion. Mm. The actual courts have not found you guilty. They haven't even tried you. Mm. But on social media, you have got plenty of people that have got their own opinions, right? Sure. Others are being paid. Others just right. Clout, there you go. Others. Others are even bots. Gossipers. Others number yeah. chasers. Others. And they'll still give their opinions. And they still give their opinions. Okay. So all of these. Right. So I feel the longer you drag this out. Then, especially when you're being labeled a rapist mm, even if the courts find you innocent guilty before proven innocent mm. even if the courts find you innocent people are not going to backtrack and then highlight that no he was found innocent <laughs> there's a sneaky there's you know a, what i mean nobody a, nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining let me, there's a sneaky uh, so i feel you're going you're going to lose anyway i hear you there's a little sneaky um <laughs> tactic uh, people, uh politicians used to use yeah <laughs> during campaign season they would uh, make a false a- announcement <clears throat> at a function on the premise that they would announce for instance the goodwill of the person that's there versus sub contribution of the other party right knowing fully well that the bad news will travel further and by the time they even try and clean their name yeah the bad news has already spread like wildfire all right, right? And good news is actually never it spreads at all. No. It stays in someone's heart and mm, that's it. But the bad one, right? So I understand that you you think that it's better to settle. It's a lot better to settle because it's just about you controlling your reputation. The, the narrative. The narrative. The okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So it doesn't make you look guilty. Whether you're guilty or not, it doesn't matter, but you just cut the You're fire. not carrying the tag from the court. Okay. Look at how many brands are gonna drop you. Mm. Look at what happened to uh, Toilet Small. He was found innocent. The brands had already dropped him. And they're not coming back. And they're not coming back. Look at what happened to DJ Fresh. They decided to fight it. He was found innocent. Lost his jobs. Lost his endorsements. He can't go back and get the same endorsements. So that's a business. That's a business transaction. There you go. Okay. So even if you're innocent, better to settle and then just keep that at bay. Okay. Oh, that's my opinion. You're a businessman. It's a good business decision. I like you. Yeah, we uh, you have to protect your money and your brand, bro. Of course. I mean, if you uh, if you ask me in, in any given situation, I always protect the brand. There you go. That's it. Dope, man. Just in conclusion as we are we winding down now, right? Hey, man, I feel like there's a lot that we left on the table. We always leave stuff on the table. That's why there's going to be a part 2 female in Malawi. Meets. Speaking of you Malawi, say what? female goat meat and the female, female goat left meat. on the table. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I know I know Malawians are going to watch this. Uh, Touche. The Malawian people and the industry are going to watch this closely. And speaking of the industry, Who do you think is coming up? Like one day when you hang your boots, who do you think is going to take over from Tegrin? No one from Tegrin because mm-hmm. I am and will only be matched. And you will not match me if you are looking to match me. That's not That sounds a bit arrogant though. It's fact. You have to be. I'm just saying that there's probably a kid no, you, it's fact. you've noticed in the so neighborhood here's, here's or in the, in the country. Uh, what I always say is this. Yeah. If 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 there's want, no kid that you, you observe compare, coming up in the game. No, 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 no. I haven't said that. Mm-hmm. But I'm answering the question to take my reign as Tay Green. Oh, no, 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 no. So just I'm, I'm like you to say, you're a Tay big Green. brand. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's a different animal. Leave that alone. <laughs> There's so many wonderful kids that are coming up and I'll mention them, right? Right. But again, it's going back to that whole conversation we had where I said, don't, don't, it, it must never be like a fight. Or a competition. Or a competition, right? Or because these are coming now and they're fighting Tay Green. No, because we're talking 20 years versus maybe two years or mm. three years or four years. So if you want to compete, you want to do the competition thing, then take their two okay, years. Okay, not competition. Oh, no, no, some... I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So take their two years, let's say they're two years in the game and then compare it to my two years in the game wh- where they were. Thank you. Then you can have that, comp- that, that conversation. Right, right, right. Or when they get to five years, if they ever get Com- to five years. Compare with your five compare years. Compare with my five years. Ta- but don't what you've said is true. But don't ever say, Tay Green and the new ones. Mm, you- nope. No, no, oh! no. My question is more about... No, no, but I want you... Uh, because that's, that's it's a, even here, and I know that it happens here as well, where you start, you compare the, a new cat, and then you... <laughs> Monica and your like, ah, <laughs> ah, don't do that. Ah, man. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> because when they came and they did what they did they opened doors for what you're doing you understand 
they took the battle scars, the thing, they, they did, they did, they, they, they ah, ah, even what you guys are doing with this podcast, others will come and they'll flourish and they, no. Hey. So when you want to do comparisons, cool, do them, but take, take Greenland at two years, with you at two years. Yeah, of course. Then tell me how that's going for you. 100%. Then take yourself, uh, if you ever make it five years, because I'm at 20. There you go. Up until you get to 20 years. Uh, you know you know who I feel gets a, a crazy comparison when they were at two different points of their career is Biggie Tupac and Tupac. And Biggie. <sighs> people compare, then I'm like, you cannot compare those people. It's because nonsense. Biggie was on his first album. Nonsense. Nonsense. Tupac was on his fifth. Nonsense. Don't compare them. Appreciate Compa- what compare you Biggie to Tupac's first album. Okay. That's, that, that's the comparison okay. that you can make. There you go. And there's, no, there's no one further than that. Don't go any further than that. Because when it comes there to longevity, go. how long you stay relevant. Kalinga, can you sit back? <laughs> he wants to see me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> how long you stay consistent in the game? Yeah. This is very, un, uh, I'm, I'm about to say a very unpopular opinion. I said the same thing about Yo Maps as well. He's hot right now. Give him two more years, and we see if if that consistency but hits. How long has he been in the game for? I have no idea. Almost ten years. Is it? Yeah. Is it ten years? You see. Almost. You see. Oh, so take that back. Take it back. No. Doing music. Doing, doing music. music. How long has Yoma been in the guy, game for? When you are talking music, eh? You must talk when you started. When oh, you if first it's ten released. years, then that's then it's dope. Bro, if it's ten years, then it's dope. So I was I was going to come back to you and say about your maps because yeah. my knowledge of that man is he's done his work. Yeah, he's, he's put his work in, and he's he's found a niche like he's found himself. Like that guy, even when just working with him in studio, when we were doing this song, yeah, I, I was watching this guy and I'm just like, this is a machine guy. And he understands his. Uh, this fans. is a machine. I'm telling you, a guy who's been here for 20 years, I was in the studio, we worked on someone together. I was looking at this guy and I said, this is a machine. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's 10 years or I don't know if it's 10 However or more, long, yeah. but of, of working in that thing. So what you're seeing now, I guess, is an accumulation is a 360, of that. It's a 360. You understand? So, mm-mm. first understand that th- what you're seeing and understand the level of work. Because if you're saying 10 years, if you're saying 20 years, that's like going to medical school seven years, right? To become a doctor. Mm-hmm. I've been in the game for... He's, for, he's, he's done his 10,000 10, hours. He's 10,000 hours. Yeah. yeah. So his PhD is now me. You give me... I'm a doctor. I'm a professor. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eh. Dude, I want to ask you something. You've got a video that was considered for the Grammys. Yes. We Cha. never spoke about that. Congratulations. Grammy nominated. Thank you very much. Tell us about that. Thank you very much. And uh, for me, again, part of the journey, right? And I'm going to get a Grammy. So when you ask me, where are you in your career? Mm, I'm starting. That's where we are right now. The hunger is still there. The hunger is there. <laughs> There's a couple of things I need to do. The lion in you is still hungry. <laughs> it's still there. So even when I'm doing collaborations, I, I'm going to do collaborations with guys that are as hungry as me. I'm not here for, I want to be famous. Mm. Guy. When I was in kindergarten, I was famous. What category were you naming it for? The Grammy. African performance, best African performance, best African performance. Yes, it's huge. Who are you up against? A consideration. All right, I'm not nominated. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Oh, up, for up for consideration. Up for consideration. But that in itself is huge. It's an achievement. That in itself is it's massive. An achievement. Yeah, it's an achievement. So my Grammy story is: um, I was invited to the Grammys about a year, two years ago, two Grammys back, <laughs> and you can only go to the Grammys if you're a member. Mm-hmm. Or you're invited by... A member. A member. Yeah. So I was invited by a member. Which one? uh, No, you wouldn't know them. (laughs) And I don't think they want me to tell Mm. you who they are. But I was invited by a member. And I was privileged to attend. Again, me, I just soak up. And my mission there was to understand how this function works, how what happens here, what is required, and so forth and so on. Two years later, I produced a song with my experience and knowledge that I gained from those travels, mm. right? And submitted it and said, well, here it is. This is, I think, what works. Because again, they're looking for authenticity. Mm. It's not the best vocal. It's not the best. It's the best original sound. Right. 
from where you come from. That is, because there is now school, the Academy Awards, it's not, it's not just, hey, I can rap. You have to build a song. Mm -hmm. And what can you teach us? And what can you teach us? Are you giving us something that's new that we have never heard? Mm -hmm. right. So I submitted a sound that I created called Nyao Music, which is what I'm known for. That's why I'm the Nyao King. Mm. A fusion of the drums. Because that's what the chair was known for, their drums. And those drums make different sounds. So even the music that I make, if you listen to all of it, Serious the sounds are thing? different. It's like different. You're like, this drum, you know. Even what you hear in that, in that my piano now comes from the Nyao drum. The pattern, the way they, they just went and played around with it. Played around with it. <clears throat> Um, in conclusion, the artists that you're thinking are coming up well in the game in Malawi. Yes, back to that important question. Now you phrased it properly. I love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah but no, we had to school him first. We, we had to teach him. No, him and, and, school, and, and, him and school can't be mentioned in the same sentence because no, he dropped be like that. <laughs> because you see, <coughs> now, even now, when you have other artists on the way, coughing on my the food. way you ask You say what? I hope you're not coughing on my food. On the goat, go, yeah, on the goat. Feed you. No, but even, I mean, it's important because even when you have another artist on, on, on here, yeah. you ask, you phrase it correctly. It's, it's never, it's <laughs> I'm never, gonna phrase it the same way, bro. Ah, you will just start fight. <laughs> it's never a competition and don't do yeah. that. It's just, it's rude. It's rude. Like, hey, okay, you go to the hospital and there's a doctor who's been, you know, a surgeon for 12 years versus yeah, one that's coming in. The one like that's coming in now has got blonde hair, mm. looks nice and has done two heart surgeons or whatever, surgeries. And then you're like, yeah, 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 better than it. What you talking about? You talking about Willis? What you talking about? <laughs> in, every in every field, it's the same thing. Never, ever. Anyway, don't do it. Back don't, to the question, don't yeah. Don't do it. But anyway. As we conclude. Mal Malawi has a lot of beautiful talent. Hands down. Understand? And you've mentioned people like, and so not only just artists, but even like you've talked about Philistas, people yeah. who are doing, creating content that is very much authentically their culture. She's from the North. I'm a Chewa. Right. Right. She's a, she's from, she's from the North. They practice different rituals, different things in their culture, things that I even learned when I speak to her. Right. You've got people like that. You've got other comedians like Dana. Uh, I call him Mr. Broken English. You've got people who are doing so, so many fantastic things. Eli and Juchi, I know you has done collabs yeah. here with your maps. You've people yeah. like Dremo who's worked with Prince Love, uh, young artists who are really doing beautiful, beautiful stuff. You've got people like Zeze Kingston, who's blending Ama Piano with Malawian uh, vibes. Uh, people like, I think you also know him, um, what's his, Kel K? Mm. You heard, have you heard of Kel K? No. There's a, well, now you have. That's what I'm asking. Because I, I knew about you the way right. I've asked this question. Right. I was interviewing somebody from Malawi, okay. I think from the embassy on radio okay. back in 2007, 8. Yeah. And they mentioned you. Right. So when, when I, was this? Like 2008, 9, somewhere there. See those years, actually. Yeah. So I'm trying to discover new artists through you the way I discovered you, nice, your man. music. So what were you know what I mean? About me, yeah. No, I was asking, who should we look out for in Malawi? And they said, there's a guy who's quite big right now. Look for Tegrin. And it's the funny uh, thing they say, there's a guy now who's quite big right now. Take it. Same, yeah. It's the same thing. Eh? And then I was in the music store. Remember sounds? <laughs> I find this CD and your song was number one in that compilation. Right. You remember that? Your song was number one. Huh? Then what, it was what, what? And no, I'm just saying like, he, this guy is doing fact, is like fact checking for me as well. Yeah, of course. Because when I say I've been the thing. Yeah. Oh, one other thing that we forgot to mention is this episode is brought by, brought to you by Bed Power. Uh, <coughs> I don't, I don't watch too many sports, well, except two. And I made quite a bit of money when um, the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup was on. So how do I get on to Bed Power and be like one of your like international- You download the app. No, ambassadors. You oh. download the app. I, I'll no, introduce you to, to I want to be an ambassador. Why are you, oh, why are you talking right. about apps, bro? We'll talk My to bad. I want, to, I want to get people to download the app. Cool. I'll introduce I you kingdom. to Bualia. I have, a, I have a whole kingdom. You have, right. I'll introduce you to Bualia. You are my people, I got you. Fantastic marketing person at Bad Power. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Perfect. We're going to have a, we're going to have a promo code. These are the synergies I'm talking about. You know what I mean? <coughs> Somebody told me to ask you this. Okay. That you and Namandingo used to be seen everywhere together. Yes. That shit stopped with the quickness. Uh, I can just. 
Oh, okay. Which one if you if you allow me, I'll send you a video of me and him a uh, couple of days ago. Oh, cool. Party. So you guys are still cool. No, we're cool. All right. Like I don't understand. Like, but have you heard that rhetoric before? Yeah, but I've heard it all my life. Right. They always assume and they always think. So I don't really bother with people's perception. Actually, it's more interesting that way. Of course, yeah. Then I remain keep an them enigma. wondering. Ah. Keep them wondering. Exactly. And in the world of is social he, media, is keep he them not, following. Oh, is easy. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Even I don't know. <laughs> uh, 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 so I'm going to ask you just a couple of names in quick succession. Okay. Tell me the first word that comes to mind when you hear that name. The first word? The first word <clears throat> that comes to mind when I hear When you yeah. hear that name. How long do I have till I have <laughs> <laughs> Whatever word that pops into your mind first. Okay. <clears throat> I'm telling Mansa. Amazing. Your maps? Genius. And I'm a dingo? Stop. Lazarus, your president? <laughs> and laugh. <laughs> no, because, that says a lot, though. No, you know what? You know what? No, because look, he tricked me. He's a funny guy. I had a trick. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this podcast? Ah, uh, exceptional. Fantastic. Like, I've had the best interview ever. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Could that be in the promo? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> to be honest, I just brought this little game out because I wanted to see your reaction to Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. That's not, that's not. So everybody so else was like, just like a fucking yeah, gimmick. Like, <laughs> so, okay. Before we go, there's a thing I do, yeah? Right. I do did, it. I did this with Mutale, yeah? Right. And I want to see... I want to see something. It's not sexual, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> this guy. I want to see something. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. All right. Okay? Damn. When the, <clears throat> Since when the you guys hunter have becomes the hunted... You ready? First question. ready? First question. How do you put an elephant in a fridge? Chop it up in pieces? You open the fridge and you put it in there. I like this guy. Correct. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> I like you. See? This guy. Okay. Cool. How do you put a hippo in a fridge? That's the second question. Same thing. What do you mean? I was about to say, so you give me, log in your answers. Don't, if you, don't if you open the fridge for an elephant, why won't you open it for the hippo? What's your so answer? what you do is you open the fridge, you take the elephant out and you put the hippo in. I yeah. like you. Correct. Ding, ding. He's thinking. You are not thinking. You are just eating goat here. You are not eating goat. I'm not eating goat. I'm hungry. You're hungry. No, he's thinking. I, I like you. He's thinking. Yeah. You can't put the, 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 the hippo the in hippo, the elephant. The elephant is in there. So you have to open the fridge. Next animal. Put the hippo. And close the fridge. Right? Next animal. Cool. Mm-hmm. Final question. We're in Malawi in the jungle. Deep in the jungle, all the animals have gathered. The lion has called for a meeting. All the animals attend, except for one. Which animal is this? The hippo. The hippo, who's still in the the fridge. fridge. Now you catch up. (laughs) (laughs) You know, all I was hearing was goat, 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 goat. No, but I'll tell you something. Yeah, the, the... you guys are smart. You guys are smart people. There's something that I want to... Um, there's no right or wrong answer to this. Okay. Kalinga, feel free to participate. I think you and I have spoken about this before. There's no right or wrong answer to this. Okay. Right? Whatever answer you give... It is. ...kind of tells... Who you are. Who you are. It's kind of like this thing I did here. Right, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so you are... Um, you're the driver of a train. Mm. And the train doesn't have any brakes. It's lost its brakes. Do you know about this, Kalinga, before I continue? Uh, go on. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up so, if, I, if I do. At the end of the tracks are eight people, eight men that are working on the tracks. Let's say you know for <clears> certain <throat> that if you keep barreling down the, the tracks, you're going to ram into these eight people and you're going to kill these people. But then what you notice is on the right side is another track where you can turn the steering wheel because it still works. But on that track is one person that is working. So if you turn the steering wheel and it switches tracks, you would go and kill the one person, saving the eight. What do you do? There's no right or wrong answer. There's no right or wrong answer. Don't you understand? Mm, I'm first of all wondering what the other guy is doing fixing 
it doesn't matter. He's just on the tracks. He's just on the tracks. He's yes. just alone on the tracks. So alone on the tracks. And if you turn the, the, um, the, the train, it will change course and kill that one person. If you don't do it anything, eight. it will remain on the same track and kill the eight. So what is your question? What do you do? What do you do? And you can't break. No, you cannot. So you have to kill eight or two or one. Or one. Yeah. And this will tell us what kind of human being you are. What, what do you do, Tay? Kalenga? What do you do? Okay, that's you'd your hit, option. You'd hit all the eight? Yeah, Tay? Okay, that's cool. Tay? <laughs> what would you do, exit? Kalenga? How many people are on the train? And do, do, do they, does it affect the people on the train? No. Nothing. Just the ones it's on just the tracks. Just the ones on the tracks. Yeah. Kalenga? Yeah, I was about to say I would stop imagining <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same like imagine so I was like, yeah, imagine I, I save everyone <laughs> <laughs> simple yeah no but, but what, what would you do no that's my answer even me no no hold on if <laughs> you ha- if you had to do one <laughs> if it was not do imagination do yeah it no, was not imagination imagine. no if you imagine. okay if you so are in that situation I'll just stop imagining too like, if you I'll, are in that situation what do you do if that situation is as real as are day we not, are we not imagining now no no bro <laughs> hold on don't I read how what do you do if that situation is as real as day give us an answer I'll press you for an answer now Give us five seconds. Answer, what would you do? One or eight? The eight or the one? It's not, why you're not going to go to heaven. You have to kill. You're killing anyway. <laughs> I'm killing anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just trying to think what the tricky part of this question There's is. There's no tricky but part. The There's it's no like tricky the part. Hippo. So just it's just like morality. The hippo. Just, no, don't worry about it. It's just like answer. a hippo question. Just, just answer. You are thinking too much. Chop, yeah. chop, what? Just no, answer just quickly. Open the fridge, put the hippo in. <laughs> don't, don't think what is politically correct or not. I am thinking what's politically correct. Don't, don't, don't. Ah. Like, who are these eight people? What do they do don't, in life? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. We'll hit the one next year. Let's go hit the one. Okay, so, let's hit the one. Yeah. The one, all right? Yeah, we'll hit the one next year. Well, go. Stop imagining. No, we, we said we'll stop imagining. So, go. Do you hit the eight or the one? The eight. You hit the eight. Okay, so one, one, eight, eight. eight. All right, so the room is split in half. Yeah. So, I like this. You, so are, I will you, give you, you, you also want to. No, don't worry. I'll tell you the end. Oh, okay. Right? So, let me give you a different scenario now. I want to see if both your answers change and if both your answers change. Mm-hmm. Let's say you're standing on a bridge. Okay. This time you're no longer the driver of the train. You're standing on a bridge. The train is going to pass under you. You're still with me, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the bridge, standing next to you <clears throat> is a fat man. Very large man. Okay. And at the end of that track are the same eight people. If you push this guy over the bridge and he falls on the tracks, the train will hit that guy and it will stop <laughs> and save those eight. Ah, yeah, I'm leaving. It's what? Henry BJ Fed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do? Huh? I'll, I'll start with you two. Now you're not on the train, you're not the driver. No, but you're not, you can, pro, you can, but you're you can on save, the bridge. You can save eight people. You can save eight people by pushing, pushing somebody off the bridge. Yeah, sacrifice the one to save the many. I so know, would you push him off the bridge? So this is yours. You say what? What business of this? <laughs> <laughs> to save anyone anyway. <laughs> Why you so, want to kill someone? Wait, no. so, so, what you, so what you going to do, Tay? I pray. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very Lazarus answer. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray for the ones of the church. Your president taught you well. Let's <laughs> pray. No, but what would you do? I'll pray. No, no I'm if, not if, killing if, anyone. If you, no, if you, if you, killing. So if you pray. No, in this situation. I the do, time I that you're have. praying, the train is passing and killing the eight. I don't know what's happening, but I can't. So, so you won't push no, the guy I won't over. Kill anyone. All right, cool. Like so, you've cho- so you've chosen the eight, Kalenga. <clears throat> kill the fat guy. Kill the fat guy. No. Uh, you, Gob, you stuck with the fat guy. Let things, let so, things be. So, still the eight. Still the eight. Uh, my G. The eight. The eight. <laughs> so, so, three so eights, Tay, three Tay, eights, what, 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 what made you change your answer? Because now, at this particular point, I <laughs> have a choice. You had a choice when you were the driver of yeah, the train but too. That, no. I didn't have a choice there, really. You did. I'm in a the situation. Wheel was no, the I'm choice. in a situation. I'm in a situation. No, but even when you're the driver, the right. steering wheel was a choice. You chose to go to, for the one. To go for the one. That's then the they, choice. Yeah, that's the choice. Yeah. Yeah. Then. So, so what changed this time? Because now I have to kick. It's not me, you who, have to it's not me who hit the one, XA. You have to actively <laughs> kill someone <laughs> consciously. <laughs> Actively <laughs> participate. Okay. That one was the train. Boom. Was it me? <laughs> this was one is you. It's me. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> <There's touch. laughs> I don't want to be involved there. Yeah, give, give us the answer. <laughs> so what's, Whether so right or wrong. So what? what and what there's no you, right or wrong. Like psychoanalyzed. So there's no right or wrong. Sure. Um, the questions still continue from there. Okay. Oh, okay. But I. 
It's okay. food for thought as yeah. we leave the set. Yeah. But the final one again, and because I want to see if this will change okay. your answer. This time you're a doctor. Okay. Right? There's eight people that have come in for various things, life-threatening stuff. Why is it? One is guy it the same needs people. Same one, no, relax. One guy needs a heart transplant. The other guy needs kidneys, etc. Mm-hmm. So it's eight people, and they all have got life-threatening conditions. That's okay. why the train needed to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the train needed to kill them. <laughs> this one died, is it? <laughs> I changed my mind. That's why, that's why they push the fat guy. They don't have much to like live done. anyway. They don't so have to live, right? This aid, don't, this aid don't apply to me. So, so at this point, yeah. this aid don't apply. Talk to me about the fat guy. <laughs> okay, go on. Yeah. Uh, so these eight people come in. They need eight different organs. Okay. Right? They're going to die. Okay. And you notice in the other observa- observation room is a very healthy guy who's just come for a checkup. <laughs> sure, you see why I'm taking this. Very fat also. <laughs> Would you kill this guy? Take the eight organs to to do what? To save these eight. Uh-uh. No, so they all need eight different organs from one guy. Yes. So this one guy who's healthy has got all the eight that What's these he people doing need. in the hospital in the first place? A checkup. You oh, know what? You know, you know these rich people? Oh, they come okay. in on everything is good just now, for a checkup. So in that so age, every organ. In that age, somebody needs a report. liver, somebody yes. needs a kidney, a kidney. So this guy's got eight things in his body that these eight people need to survive. Mm. Would you kill you this person? You sacrifice the one to save the eight? To save these eight. Ah, again, no. <laughs> right. So you guys that said you would have the eight die. The eight are going. The eight are going. <laughs> <laughs> you know the craziest story? And this eight started dying from the fat guy. From the first, yeah. <laughs> You know, the craziest thing is they actually ask this as an entry level question when you are going to Harvard. Okay. Damn. Just to basically I understand, understand your, your yeah, psyche yeah, yeah. and the okay. kind of person that Where's you are. Where's your mind at? Okay. Yeah. So what are, where, where are we? We've killed the to- after the third guy. Fucking terrorists. We're terrorists? Goddamn terrorists. Uh, so they won't take us in Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. This has been quite the episode and a half. Take green. Thanks a lot for coming this was, through. Yeah, this was, this was incredible, man. You, you, and, I, and I must hasten to say, you've broken the record. Okay. What record has he broken? What for the record? time frame, anybody has ever made us wait for them to show up on set. The first one. No, we, that's not true. Dude, he took over three hours. We, There's someone who made us wait for just as long. Who, who was that? Cleo Ice Cream. Ah, oh, shout she out did. to Cleo. She did, yes. Yeah. Shout out she to was Cleo. Cleo. Ma- Bruh. She's a queen, though. What you we expect, waited like? in that hotel room for nearly t- three hours. You yeah, but no, nobody coffee, beats Mutale, bro. Nobody back. beats Mutale. Yeah. And remember, let's, let's make it cumulative. Mutale's done it twice. Oh, yeah, Mutale's done it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cleo, <laughs> Mutale. And, and Mutale's me. done it twice. Mutale's made the first time. Yeah. We said we're starting to shoot at uh, 10. Mm. You know what time showed up? What's that? At 10. But to show up on the set... Makeup took four hours, bruh. Oh. Yeah. You can't rush perfection. And then the second time she made us wait again. Makeup for another three hours. She was there. So in You could see her. Yeah. You could see her. But, but she's she not talk there. to her. <laughs> <laughs> so put that together. She's made us wait seven jo- hours. Jo- John Cena. Huh? <laughs> you're there, but you're not there. You, can, you can't see me. <laughs> Till the next episode, remember to click on the subscribe button. And please support. Oh, God damn it. Please cut that shit out. Bed power. Bed power. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, out, I'll chop it out. Don't worry. I'll chop it out. No, I said bed power, power, nigga. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? But Just yo, listen, what are we, what are we pushing? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bed power is bed what we're pushing. Okay, yes, bed power, power, bed power. But listen, um, uh, again, yeah, link me up with them. But on the real though, I want to just uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, this is the longest. You guys, this, you said it's the second, third, or longest time anyone's wait, ever made wait, you wait. Wait, wait. Okay, go ahead. You guys said this is like the third or second time that anyone has ever made you, a long time that has ever, anyone has ever made you wait. Mm. However, this is for me the longest interview I've ever been on. Wow. That has ever made sense. So I just want to say shout out to you guys. You know, I had a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go air ahead. horn. Drop that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, those are just air horns. What y'all say? <laughs> but yeah, I know I had a beautiful time. And make sure Malawians, wherever you are as you're watching this, click on the subscribe button. These guys make sense, man. Again, culture interaction. Let's exchange numbers. Let's get to know each other. This is a very beautiful platform. And all my Malawian artists that are out there, make sure you link up with these two. They're going to come out to Malawi. I'm bringing them out to Malawi. 
so that you guys can also be seen, share your stories, your music, and Zambia can get to know you. So one love, thank you for having me, guys. And everything I said about Bushiri and uh, Lazarus, listen, I was just playing. He's yeah, a joker. As well. I, I'm a joker. He's a joker. I, I'm he's a clown. Come to Malawi. He's, a joker. he's like your Traponda. Actually, he's saying this because he's just seen the guys with the machetes outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> waiting. Like, oh, he's like the Zambian fact, version of Dalisa Traponda. I mean. So <laughs> that. Yeah. No, I was. No, I was playing. I'm. I'm definitely gonna come out to Malawi. Entertainment. And uh, I've heard horrible things about your internet too. Hey. What, what did they tell you? You guys have got only two uh, telecom companies, right? Yes. That you literally have to wait for six hours for a page to open. So I won't say anything because I'm not paid by any of them or to defend or... No, no, your no, experience, no. though. So that's your experience. I mean, let's just basically yeah. your experience. But that's the last question. Is Dalisa <laughs> Chaponda... As big in Malawi as he is in the UK right no, now? No, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. All no, right, cool. I mean, like... And literally shout out, shout and... Out uh, no, he's a big guy and he's funny too. Ah, it's and in fact, uh, everything about him except his voice is big. Wow. Yeah. Okay. No, that's just I like truth. how he delivers things and then he's just there. Almost <laughs> like he's complimenting you and then he just <laughs> it's like cuts it off. <laughs> no, just like Jay Z, bro. I mean, have you heard this man speak? Have you? There was a time, and this is memorable for me anyway. There was a time I was in the UK. In the UK. In it. Yeah, bro. And Jay Z, yeah. It was a bang as a mash, innit? He was saying, yeah, he was going to be on, on Twitter yeah. for one hour only, bruv. Uh-huh. The thing shut down, bruv. Damn. This what guy, a donut. This guy, he would come on here yeah, and he's got like, he's, he's, he's like, he's rude in a certain, like, you know, you know when you just, you deliver rudeness, but it's so polite, but you know, you know what that, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, know, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I know he was tweeting and he was just there for an hour, but like, Cause he's not on, like I he doesn't remember he that. Yeah, he I doesn't have an that. account. Like when he was responding to people, people's yes, comments, right? We respond to them. I watched his interview when, when he spoke about. Yes, that. and he was only for an hour. But bro, like the whole Twitter was on Jay Z's page that day. But the way he was responding to people, like that, that, that man's that's head breaking the internet. That man's that, head, in my opinion, greatest rapper ever. Ever, but, ever. but just for me, it's just it's, it's a rounded thing. It's rapper, entrepreneur, entertainer. One hundred percent. He's well capsulated. He's the thing. One hundred percent. That's like your inspiration. You know, there's a museum. He's the only after one. Like uh, I can see the gestures. Like you can actually nah, just nah, inspired like, by Jay Z. Like, you know, you know how people say, oh, "Who would you meet?" And, like yeah, I've met guy. <laughs> the dinner five hundred thousand guy. I've met. <laughs> yeah, I've met yeah. guys. Uh huh. But this guy is like one of those guys where I just like, no, keep the money. I just wanna. I wanna let's just talk. Did, did you it's hear not even I don't have a question, I just want to talk. Let's just talk. Did you hear um, there was that comparison? What would you take? Fifty thousand or yeah, I just did that five hundred thousand. He was asked it. that question. Yeah. He'll uh, take the money. Um, no, he no, he said he would take the money. No, no, he said if anybody is asked that question, take the money. Right. And when you take the money, buy the albums. Yeah. Because anything I'll tell uh, you tell during you, dinner yeah, is in, is in the, the music. Yeah, but then notice what I say. Yeah. I'm not there to ask questions. One hundred percent just a conversation. Because you understand, like when you're in the presence of greatness, right? There's a certain level and energy you absorb. True. If you're spiritual. I'm a very spiritual human being. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So when you're in a when you're in a presence of greatness, literally it's it's like that, that radiation comes on you as well. Right. It's, it, it's vibrations. You you leave that room on a different level. So you should stay away from Iris while you're here. <laughs> Who? Iris. Who's Iris? On it's that good, note, it's um, good you don't know her. You know, you know the one other thing about Jay. <laughs> wait, wait, when, when it comes to when it comes to mu- <laughs> when it comes to music, hip hop, especially. Okay, guy. Who's your top five? Huh? Top who's five? your top five? Yeah, J J J and more J. My man, my man. You know, if you we were had traveling started, the same car for hmm? six if we hours. had started this conversation on that, on that, yeah, I was gonna be a stan. Now, nah, but now you see how we ended on a high. Yeah, yeah I, I have listened to every Jay Z album and not once. And can I tell you about the thing with me with Jay Z albums? Yeah, there's no artist in the world. Okay, f- f- anyway, whatever. So I'm not rude to them. Where so that they're great. I like. I love. Diff- yeah, I don't even. Know I'm explaining myself. Jay Z album is there. I can tell you when this one came out, where I was in the world, and where I listened to. I'm it. the same way. Like specifically, mm. and when I played it, when I put it in, I did not move in that spot until it was done. <laughs> I'm the same way. Every album. Yep. And it's so it's like so cemented in my head. It's crazy. Reasonable doubt to date. Where I was in the world, what I was There's doing. no doubt. I remember this crazy story that Jay told. Okay. You remember this guy We're bought- We're not leaving. You know, remember this guy bought his, his master's back from Def Jam? Yes. You remember that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And this was right before he released Blueprint 3. So Blueprint 3 was supposed to be his last 
album that he owed right. Def Jam. Yeah. So what he did is he went to Def Jam and he said, I'm going to give you, it's like a gamble. Right. I'm going to give you $10 million okay. to buy this album back. Right. If this album makes less than $10 million, it's my, my loss. loss. Right. If it makes more, it's cool. your loss. But then again, <clears throat> you it's a money. toss up. Right. They said, cool. He gives them $10 million and now every other album from there belongs to him. To him. So Blueprint 3 was meant to be released two weeks after he bought that album back. He had an MP3 player in his pocket. And this time he did not fly private. Right. He was on a commercial plane. Right. He gets off the plane, gets to his hotel, and realizes his shit's missing. He dropped it on the plane. Shit. So what this means is if anybody picked that shit up, where his entire album was, the only that he paid $10 million for. Right. And if they licked it on the internet, he's done. Nobody was going to buy it. Right. <clears throat> and this man woke up in a cold sweat every single day. So what he then did to prevent that is he pushed his album. The release date. The release date to the day after he lost his... Um, no way. Yep. And yeah. it smashed records. But that's confidence. That's and confidence. Is, I mean, like, yeah. And, and you got to understand that this is in, in an era where it's not a social media guy. Bam. Guy, it's a different animal. That's why even when I say these comparisons you were doing, if yeah. you were known it's those days in, in, in different countries. Trending without social media? Without, it's not so, it wasn't social media. No. People sold CDs, <laughs> bro. Tapes. Ta- tapes. <laughs> right now, all people just need to do is get on their phone and stream ah, a song. Say, send me on WhatsApp. You know how easy that shit is? It's too easy. <laughs> not only that, but people manipulate numbers. And this is why. You can buy numbers on pages, can, guys. Bro, and this is why, no offense to any artist who's shining on Boomplay, this is why I don't look at numbers on Boomplay. Because I feel like those numbers can easily manipulate it. No offense to you and Yo Maps and anybody who puts up their oh, music on Yo numbers. Maps. <laughs> sorry, on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> on that, YouTube. That, but that, that shit can easily be number. manipulated, right? Right. You, I'm sure you know this. No, of course. Those numbers can easily be manipulated. Of course. Of course. And this is why I've got so much respect for those artists. You know, right. your Asha, your Jay-Z, yeah. uh, who Michael it Jackson. Yeah. Help of. Who and are still and are still relevant, fucking relevant in the digital today. era. Today. I was speaking guy, to guy. I was speaking to Kalinga the other day. Uh-huh. I, I swear to God, this is my last point. Okay. I was driving from I was driving <laughs> so from was Livingston. The, point, the, the third, third point. Yeah. Before this, the the, the ten thousand last point. I was driving from Livingston. Okay. And I I put on a Michael Jackson playlist. Mm. And I started listening to Billy Jean. Mm. Sorry, not Billy Jean. Beat it. Have you listened dun, to the song? Dun, 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 Have you actually dun, dun, listened to the song? Just beat it. Like the words. <laughs> What, what do you think Beat It uh, talks about? Dun, 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 but you see, that's the dun, thing about Michael. Dun, dun. I always, this is the question I ask everybody. I say, sing me a Michael Jackson song, like from top to bottom. Uh-huh. Have you ever met, met a person who can sing you a Michael Jackson song? I can. No, top, top, to, Not top to bottom, okay. but the entire second verse of Beat It. No, you see. You because that spoke to me. <clears throat> cool. But that's how genius this man was. True. To me, if you had to ask me, I feel like that was... A call to arms. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. He was speaking about the brutality that black people faced at the hands of police and the white man. So it's basically civil rights if you listen, in a yes, If you listen to the second verse, like truly listen to the words, <coughs> people were so captivated with the ow that they didn't listen to what this man was saying. But listen to the second verse of Beat It. That and then let's talk again. There's a part that he says, they kick you and they beat it yes. and they tell you that it's fair. fair yeah. So beat it. Uh, and on that note, it. go listen to man. the song again. Um, to the next episode. Remember, click on subscribe. Follow this man as well. This man is... Oh, he's a fucking we've, genius, we've, we've got more respect for you than before this episode, to be honest. And I'm wow. sure a lot of comments are going to say that as well after this episode. <coughs> because even with... The- I spoke shit about you before I met you on Facebook. Yeah, no, but it's good. Yeah. Every, everyone that speaks shit about gonna me. Say, oh, no, he's going to be your biggest evangelist now. Everyone that speaks shit about me speaks highly of me after they meet after me. After they meet you. I won't speak highly. I'll just correct myself. I don't <laughs> no, know about no, the no, highly. No, bro, you just told I me. I mean, now you're pushing no, 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 it. No, no, no. He just said I'm a genius. You got that over That's there. That's it. Yeah, on record. In fact, record, when he yeah. denies it, just play that part. <laughs> this man is a genius. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't speak. <laughs> this man is a genius. David, thanks for coming. This man is a genius. Thanks for coming to This man is a genius. Thanks oh, for coming to Dig to the next episode. Have a lovely day. Click on that subscribe button. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 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 Dun, 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 dun.